Hello. Welcome to the Fanfic Majesty. If you want more content you can follow me on Patreon. I will be uploading more content on there that will be exclusive. The link is in the description. Please support me. 1SF. Chapter 001 Gold Flashes. Please subscribe. Ask for automatic. Close black lens bracket. Next chapter. Advertisement. Chapter 001 Gold Flashes. Please subscribe. Ask for automatic. Close black lens bracket. The Country of Fire. In Konoha Commercial Street, it was snowing heavily, and passers-by wrapped in thick cotton clothes kept rubbing their hands. Konoha seems to be a little colder than usual this year. Catch the thief. Catch the thief. A guy in a big white apron dressed like a boss was chasing two kids and yelling. What? There are thieves. Little devil. Stop for me. Some passers-by acted bravely and grabbed the arm of one of the thin figures. But then, shut, a golden light flashed, and the thin figure disappeared in an instant. Damn it. It's that Yi Shen Yu guy again. Everyone around was not as surprised when they saw this scene, they seemed to be familiar with it. Now that one had run away, people's eyes naturally focused on the other blonde child. Naruto. Afterwards, little Naruto was shocked to find that the road ahead was blocked at some point, and he couldn't help crying out in despair. Boss, save me. Advertisement. Lights and shadows converged on the roof, gradually forming a human shape, and finally turned into a child with a tiger's head and a tiger's brain. It was the thief who escaped from the crowd just now. The thief known as Yi Shen Yu looked at poor Naruto and shook his head helplessly. Hey, I'm here, you let him go. The chasing crowd heard Yi Shen Yu's voice and subconsciously looked towards the roof. Gold flash. The moment everyone looked up, a burst of extremely dazzling golden light suddenly lit up, and everyone's eyes were suddenly irradiated by the strong light, causing temporary blindness, and people instinctively covered their eyes and squatted down. Seeing this situation, Naruto tightened his grip on the chicken in his arms, and ran away. Half an hour later, the two fled panting to the back mountain of Konoha. Call. Yi Shen Yu's health was still relatively good, and she took a deep breath very quickly, which was considered to have evened out her breath. How about it, Naruto, did you lose your roast chicken? Hearing this, Naruto hurriedly looked into his arms, and then smiled cutely. Boss, it's still there, and it's hot. Thanks to you just now, otherwise I'm afraid I'll be beaten again today. Hey, I'm your boss. My little brother is in trouble, so it's right to come forward. Seeing Naruto looking at himself with admiration, Yi Shen Yu couldn't help being in a trance. He was originally from Blue Star. He got lost on a trip. When he was very hungry, he ate a pineapple. After waking up, he went to the world of Hokage. Then, Yi Shen Yu was shocked to find that the pineapple he ate before turned out to be sparkling fruit. Advertisement. But the power that this sparkling fruit can exert seems to be linked to its own chakra. The current Yi Shen Yu can only move quickly and turn herself into a dazzling light cluster, blinding other people's eyes. As for those like Kazaru, laser light and so on, they can't be used yet. Patting Naruto on the shoulder, Yi Shen Yu said with a smile. Damn, who made us both orphans? Come on, eat the roast chicken, or it won't taste good when it gets cold. Uh huh, little Naruto nodded vigorously, and then the two little guys enjoyed the rare food happily. In the cold winter, two children who have been hungry for a long time, eat a stolen roast chicken, that feeling is really happy. These two little guys are also thieves, and they stole the most famous shop in Konoha Commercial Street. The taste of this roasted chicken is amazing, the chicken is tender and seasoned, the flavor is tangy when you bite it down, and the fragrance is lingering in your mouth, the two of them enjoyed eating it. Yi Shen Yu and Naruto are also very hungry now, and they ate up a big roast chicken in a few minutes. Hi, Yi Shen Yu hiccuped in a very disfigured way, and then touched her belly with enjoyment, and couldn't help but sigh. It feels so good to be full. But having said that, the roast chicken here is really delicious, much better than the one we stole the day before yesterday. Naruto stroked his stomach imitatingly. Well, the one from yesterday's bakery was not tender enough, and it didn't taste that delicious. Advertisement. After years of Yi Shen Yu's nurturing, little Naruto probably knows a little bit about eating this piece. As Naruto said, his eyes lit up suddenly, and he pointed behind Yi Shen Yu. Boss, look quickly, there seems to be someone over there, let's go and play with them. Hearing this, Yi Shen Yu subconsciously turned around and looked in the direction Naruto said, and saw three boys cursing and saying something from a distance. Yi Shen Yu frowned slightly, and took the lead to run towards several people. Naruto, keep up, yes, boss, soon, as Yi Shen Yu continued to approach, the scene in the distance also clearly appeared in front of his eyes. In the distance were three older boys talking trash around a cute girl. It's just, Yi Shen Yu is a little familiar with the appearance of this girl. You're the daughter of the Hyuga family, why don't you show me your eyes? Don't look at us if you don't want to, those eyes are so gloomy, they are monsters at all. You are a white-eyed monster, ha ha ha. When the little girl heard the heart-wrenching words of the three, she covered her eyes with her small hands, squatted on the ground and cried sadly. Hina, Hanada, Chapter 002 This system is a bit six. Ask for flowers. Ask for collection. Close black lens bracket. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Just when Yi Shen Yu was stunned, Naruto couldn't get used to it, and shouted loudly. Hey, don't bully people. Seeing Naruto running to the hero to save the beauty, no, to be precise, he should be beaten, Yi Shen Yu stood still in a daze. E-M-M-M. This kid, if I don't stop, maybe I will let him succeed, but unfortunately. Yi Shen Yu was very clear about what was going to happen, Naruto was not enough to fight up. Sure enough, when the three boys saw Naruto, who was obviously much shorter than him, they threw him down a few times without being polite to him. Seeing this, Yi Shen Yu's face changed slightly. The three boys were kicking Naruto on the ground arrogantly. Suddenly, a boy with a thick head and a thick head appeared in front of them. The boy's face was gloomy, and the three of them felt a lot of pressure from him. You, 
Who are you? I advise you not to meddle in your own business. Yes. Yes. Let's go now. I. We can still pretend that nothing happened. Taking advantage of the harsh words of the two companions, the third boy hiding behind them picked up the stone and threw it at Yi Shenyu suddenly. The stone flew towards Yi Shenyu quickly, and little Hinata closed her eyes in fright, and reminded loudly. Quick, get out of the way. However, Naruto who was lying on the ground had a smile on his face, as if he was not worried about these. The next moment, a miracle happened, and the stone hit Yi Shenyu's forehead with incomparable precision. The imagined bleeding did not happen, the stone passed through Yi Shenyu's forehead strangely, and flew out from the back of his head. This. Dot how is this possible? Advertisement. How did this guy do it? Illusion. But, damn it, you can't just admit defeat, let's go together. Watching the actions of the three, Yi Shenyu smiled and said. Oh, three together. Yi Shenyu didn't have the slightest timidity at this time. With the ability of sparkling fruit, how could three big boys compare to him? At this time, Yi Shenyu still had time to turn his head and tell Hanada. Boys fight too violently, be obedient and close your eyes. Huh, oh, Hanada was stunned for a moment, and quickly realized that she closed her eyes obediently, and then bursts of wailing suddenly sounded. Five seconds later, Hanada felt a warm hand touching his little head. Okay, it's okay, let's get to know each other, my name is Yi Shenyu, what's your name? Ah, Hanada looked up and saw Yi Shenyu looking at her with a sunny smile, and it was the first time for her to be touched on the head by a boy other than her father, she blushed suddenly, lowered her head and said falteringly. I, my name is Hina, Hanada. Seeing Hanada who fainted shyly immediately, Yi Shenyu had no choice but to let go of her hand touching Hanada's little head. And Hanada looked behind Yi Shenyu curiously, only to find that the three people who were still invincible just now were crawling on the ground in misery. Just when Yi Shenyu was about to chat with Hanada, a Hayuga tribe in the distance waved at Hanada and shouted. Master Hanada, it seems that Hanada was called home. Hanada obviously also realized this, immediately bowed to Yi Shenyu, and said seriously. Advertisement. Thank you so much for today, my name is Hayuga Hanada, nice to meet you. Well, me too, well, go home quickly, we will see you later. Ah, yes, Yi Shenyu watched little Hanada leave when suddenly a cold female voice sounded in his mind. Ding, congratulations to host for meeting the system activation conditions. The system has been activated and is being bound. Please wait. 1%, 55%, 99%, the binding is successful. Ding. As the first host of this system, I will be rewarded with an ultimate gift package. Do you want to open it? The ultimate gift package. Yi Shenyu's eyes were slightly confused, why did it feel different from the novels he read in his previous life? Shouldn't it be a gift package for beginners? Forget it, forget it, just take it apart and it's over. Thinking of this, Yi Shenyu immediately said, Open. Ding. The ultimate gift package is being opened, please wait. The next moment, Yi Shenyu's mind went blank, and then the melodious voice sounded again. Ding. Congratulations, host, for getting the three-body technique. Ding. Congratulations to host, you have obtained the ultimate learning talent. Ding. Congratulations to host, the ability to get sparkling fruit can be strengthened. Ding. Congratulations host, physical fitness can be strengthened through food. Ding. Congratulations to host, mental strength can be strengthened through sleep. Advertisement. Ding. Congratulations to host, you got the Myriad Realms fishing rod and Myriad Realms fish bag. Ding. Congratulations to host, you have obtained the Myriad Realms knowledge chip. Ding. The energy of the shortcut system is exhausted, uninstalling. Ding. The uninstallation is successful. I hope the host has a happy life. Goodbye. Question mark question mark question mark. What is this with? Isn't this too deceitful? Other people's systems have been accompanied for a long time, but my own system rewarded a lot, and then directly ran out of energy and uninstalled. No wonder it is called the ultimate gift package, it will be gone after the co-authorship rewards are distributed. Yi Shenyu looked dazed. If it wasn't for a cool fishing rod and a simple fish bag in his hand, he would have thought he was hallucinating. Just like its name, the Wanji fishing rod can catch anything that might exist in the Wanji through time or space in a river in Ri. As for the Myriad Realms fish sack, it is a space treasure, and there are countless baits inside, which are specially used with the Myriad Realms fishing rod. The Wanji knowledge chip can help Yi Shenyu know everything he wants to know about Wanji. Yi Shenyu still prefers the handsome Wanji fishing rod. He shook the fishing rod in his hand and nodded involuntarily. Well, it feels good, but in the future you can go fishing if you have nothing to do. It seems that there should be a chance to catch good things. But this thing is so big, it's not convenient to hold it. If it can be smaller, for example, it exists in your body in the form of light. Before Yi Shenyu could finish the word, okay, the fishing rod and fish sack entered his body as he imagined, turning into two balls of dazzling light. It's so convenient, surprised on Yi Shenyu's face, he quickly mastered the retraction and release of the Wanji fishing rod and fish bag. When Yi Shenyu was indulging in various rewards, she suddenly felt something strange coming from her calf, and subconsciously turned her head to look, but found Naruto looking at her with bright eyes. Chapter 003, Using Myriad Realms Fishing Rod for the First Time Open Black Lens Bracket Subscribe. Ask for Automatic, Close Black Lens Bracket. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Boss, what is this? What a handsome fishing rod. Did you summon it with space ninjutsu? Seeing Naruto looking at himself curiously, Yi Shenyu subconsciously nodded. Well, this is a special fishing rod that can be summoned in space. With it, we can eat grilled fish every now and then. Wow, I will often eat grilled fish in the future. Looking at the gluttonous Naruto, Yi Shenyu looked at him thoughtfully, and asked seriously. Naruto, what is your goal in this life? Boss, my goal is naturally to become the strongest Hokage in history. Well, nice dream. Saying that, 
Yi Shenyu brought Naruto to the side of the three boys who were lying on the ground and howling from time to time. Naruto, tell me, what is a friend? Ah, the so-called friends should be two people who have a particularly good relationship. Wrong, you elm bump. Friend, the one you can't beat is your friend. Remember, if you can't beat him, make friends with him. As long as you become friends, you can stab him as softly as you want. One sentence from Yi Shenyu directly stunned Naruto, he felt that his three views were collapsing rapidly. Yi Shenyu squatted on the ground, pointed to the three people in front of him and said. Advertisement. If you can't fight, you can talk about friends, if you want revenge, you have to kidnap, this is the truth. Life is just a few short decades, fight the hardest, sleep in the best room, date the best girls, eat all the delicacies in the world, this is the life a man should have. So, now the boss is going to test you for the first time. Only by passing the test can you become stronger. What you said, makes sense. Although the little Naruto didn't really understand what he heard, he always felt that what Yi Shenyu said made sense, and hearing the other party could make him stronger, so he immediately looked at Yi Shenyu expectantly. Boss, just say it, no matter what test I have, I am confident to pass it. Yi Shenyu nodded secretly, and pointed at the three people calmly. For the three guys in front of me, each of them played thirty times to let them know the dangers of society. Ah, Naruto looked at Yi Shenyu in shock. Ah, what, this is just a test of your character. If you don't play, I'll leave. Boom, boom, bomb, boss, don't go, I'll play. The next scene was unbearable to watch, Naruto strictly followed Yi Shenyu's instructions. Then, the screams of three boys' grief and indignation sounded in the empty dry forest. Wow, you guys still dare to hit me, I want to tell my mother. Woo. Advertisement. 555, numb, unconscious. Seeing the three big boys leaving with trembling legs while crying, Yi Shenyu and little Naruto laughed very loudly. An hour later, Yi Shenyu and Naruto bid farewell, and the two made an appointment to practice again when the weather was better, otherwise it would be difficult to deal with the cold weather. Both of them are too poor, and the so-called warm clothes are too thin, so it's okay if they don't spend a long time outside. If they spend a long time, their hands and feet will be cold, and they may catch a cold. In fact, these are all false, mainly because Yi Shenyu couldn't wait to see what kind of things this so-called 10,000 world fishing rod could catch. Of course, it is necessary to have a good night's sleep. After waking up, Yi Shenyu, who was full of energy, took the guy and ran towards the lake in the back mountain. The cold weather caused a thick layer of soldiers to form on the surface of the lake. Yi Shenyu took a big rock and smashed a hole with great force, then summoned the Wanji fishing rod, hooked up the bait and threw it into the river, began to wait silently. Five minutes later, Yi Shenyu's eyes lit up suddenly, and he keenly felt that something was hooked. Rise, Yi Shenyu pulled the fishing rod violently, the fishing line collapsed very tight, and then he unexpectedly fell on a piece of golden fish. At the same time, various information about this fish automatically appeared in Yi Shenyu's mind. Golden fish, a low-level monster in the wizarding world. Yi Shenyu quickly pulled the golden fish up the river with a smile on his face. The Wanji knowledge chip reminded Yi Shenyu that eating this fish would be of great benefit to him. But a gold fish that weighs five caddies, Yi Shenyu can't eat it all by himself, and this thing is not suitable for the environment of the Hokage world. If you don't eat it quickly, it will definitely be destroyed. Thinking of this, Yi Shenyu went back and called Naruto, then the two got to work. Naruto looked curiously at the golden fish emitting golden light, with a curious look on his face. Advertisement. Boss, what kind of fish is this, why have I never seen it before? Ham, I don't know, I just fished in this lake. Yi Shenyu fooled Naruto with a few words, then put the cleaned golden fish on the chopping board and cut it into two pieces. Naruto first sharpened some tough branches with a knife, then washed them and put them beside Yi Shenyu, then skillfully went to the side to quickly pick up dry firewood, and quickly put them together. Yi Shenyu put the sharpened branches on the golden fish, and then dug out various seasonings and some leaves he picked specially from the small bag he brought, and spread them evenly in the belly of the big fish, and then put them on the thick branches to cook. Grilled on the finished grill. Not long after, a special fragrance began to diffuse above the fire, the fragrance was very strong, and there was a kind of temptation that belonged only to it. In the slow turning of Yi Shenyu, the big fish gradually turns golden yellow, accompanied by the strong aroma, which is very attractive. Boss, this fish is more fragrant than your usual grilled fish. Hee <laughs> hee, that's a must. I've taught you how to grill fish. You can do the rest and pay attention to the heat. Don't worry, boss. Naruto took the big grilled fish, grilling it seriously with a small face. Goo. Ten minutes later, the stomachs of the two kings of big stomachs protested when they smelled the extremely strong fragrance. Seeing that the heat was almost ready, Yi Shenyu said with bright eyes. Began to eat. Chapter 004. Entering ninja school for the first time ask for collection. Close black lens bracket. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. With Yi Shenyu's order, the two big foodies each picked up a piece of grilled fish and ate it with big mouthfuls. I have to say that the meat quality of the golden fish is much better than Yi Shenyu imagined. It is not only sweet and tender, but also plump and juicy. The delicious taste fills the whole taste buds after one bite. And besides the thorns in the spine, there are not even any small thorns, so you can enjoy it without any scruples. What's even more amazing is that when eating this kind of meat, there seems to be a warm current flowing through the whole body, and the whole person feels refreshed. As Yi Shenyu continued to eat grilled fish, the knowledge chip in his mind reminded him from time to time. Hosts chakra plus 10 detected. Detected hosts physical fitness plus 10. Sparkling fruit power plus 10 detected. Quote dot 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 quote. Yi Shenyu took a bite and gave all kinds of reminders, and finally he got bored and turned it off. Ten minutes later, Yi Shenyu and Naruto closed their eyes with satisfaction, silently savoring the taste of the grilled fish. Although the two of them had already had their fill, they still looked dissatisfied. 
At this moment, the chip in Yi Shenyu's mind reminded softly. It is detected that the overall quality of the host has reached the genin level. Hiss. Eating a golden fish can improve so much. Yi Shenyu silently felt the state of his body, only to find that the chakra in his body had almost tripled. His body also felt a lot lighter, and then his eyes moved slightly, trying to control the sparkling fruit. I saw Yi Shenyu stretch out his index finger, and then a dazzling light hit his finger, and the next moment a dazzling light shot away towards the distance. It disappeared in the blink of an eye, and at the same time, a small-scale explosion suddenly occurred on the ground in the distance, and a half-meter large stone was blown to pieces. Has the strength improved so much? Yi Shenyu's eyes narrowed slightly. With such laser light, he seems to be able to shoot a lot. Naruto on the side looked dumbfounded. He first looked at Yi Shenyu, then at the stone in the distance, and then said with admiration. Wow, boss, this, what kind of ninjutsu is this, it's so cool. Seeing the curiosity on Naruto's face, Yi Shenyu said with a smile. Advertisement. This is the limit of my family's blood inheritance, which can control the power of light. See Gui, Naruto looked envious. Can you even manipulate light? You are indeed the boss. This night, Yi Shenyu was a little excited and couldn't sleep. The existence of the myriad world fishing rod opened the door of a new world to him. You know, this is a not very high level gold fish, and it has such an effect. If luck explodes, if you catch the longevity pill or life fruit in the world of Shenxia, wouldn't you live a long life with the sky? Facts have proved that good things are not so easy to catch. In the next two years, Yi Shenyu also caught most of the low-level monster meat, but occasionally when luck exploded, he would occasionally drop skills from other worlds. Like Conqueror's Hockey, Yi Shenyu catches it very quickly. The days are spent by Yi Shenyu fishing every day and constantly getting new things. Until the age of seven, Yi Shenyu's strength had reached the elite Chunin level. This day, after sleeping late at noon, Yi Shenyu walked out the door with a fishing rod as usual, and suddenly his eyes moved slightly. Sure enough, Yi Shenyu opened the door and saw the white-haired old man looking at him with a smile. Old man, third generation, what does this guy want from me? Yi Shenyu asked tentatively, old man, don't you just come here to eat and drink again? Ahem, am I so unbearable that I come here every day to eat and drink? Yi Shenyu looked at him with contempt. In the past week, you came four times. What's the difference between you coming every day? Ahem, well, well, there was in the past, but definitely not today. Oh, Yi Shenyu took out the adult book that he caught not long ago from behind and shook it in front of him. Could it be for this? Hiss, looking at the extremely sexy bikini cover, third generation only dared to have a rapid rise in blood pressure. He quickly grabbed the book and couldn't wait to receive it in his arms. Then he said with a straight face. I solemnly declare, Yi Shenyu, you are seven years old this year, and it's time to go to school. I've already signed up for you. When the school starts, you just pretend to take the exam. Advertisement. Okay, I still have a lot of things to deal with today, so let's withdraw first. Boom. A puff of white smoke dissipated, where is the figure of the old man third generation? Yi Shenyu muttered with black lines on his face. This LSP, just read the book when you read it, and say you have something to deal with, damn it. Looking at the registration form with a big head, Yi Shenyu only felt that the whole person was not well. Go to school, so far away, is the boring student era coming? He has already learned the knowledge in school. The 10,000 realms knowledge chip in his mind had taught him everything about the ninja school. However, it seems a bit boring to always be with Naruto, and little Hinata. EMMM, knowledge is power, learning is a must. Dot dot dot. Five days later, Yi Shenyu entered the ninja school and became the group of students who passed the entrance examination the fastest. The so-called entrance test is nothing more than testing their physical fitness and ninja talent, symbolically throwing kunai shuriken or something, but the most important thing is to test chakra. At this time, the benefits of being born in a ninja family come, and almost all of these guys have chakra. It is also this assessment that eliminates many poor people, unless they are excellent in other aspects, they will be considered. After all, the core talent of a ninja is chakra. Yi Shenyu naturally passed the test without any pressure, and his chakra was much better than these guys. Today is the day to enter the class, and Yi Shenyu woke up from her sleep early for the first time. This guy washed himself well once in a while, and changed into new clothes that he spent a lot of money on. Then he stood in front of the full-length mirror, looking at his immature self in the mirror with satisfaction. Yi Shenyu in the mirror has a deep look in his lazy eyes. His facial features are exquisite and his temperament is extraordinary. It can be seen that after many years, he will definitely be a handsome young man who attracts thousands of girls. After getting dressed, Yi Shenyu walked out of the house. After entering the ninja school, Yi Shenyu went straight to her assigned classroom. He wasn't the first to come, there were already more than a dozen of his peers, but they were all unfamiliar characters. Advertisement. Yi Shenyu glanced around the classroom, his eyes lit up slightly, one must know that the reason why he stayed up early in the morning was to come early to occupy a seat. After choosing for a long time, Yi Shenyu's eyes finally fixed on the seventh row by the window. The location is next to the window, the air is fresh, there are big trees outside the window, it is not hot in summer, not cold in winter, and it is far enough back. According to Yi Shenyu's experience, this is an excellent location for sleeping, laziness, skipping classes, and picking up girls. After finding a good location, Yi Shenyu lay down on the table and started to feel drowsy again. There was no way, she got used to sleeping late in the morning, and started to feel sleepy again. After all, Yi Shenyu can also increase mental strength when sleeping, so it is not considered lazy. As time went by, people came in one after another, and it was quickly filled up. From a rough look, there were about 40 people. Hanada saw Yi Shenyu sleeping soundly on the table, and didn't know what she was thinking, so she boldly sat beside him with a flushed face and watched him secretly. 
Yamanaka Ino soon found Yi Shenyu sleeping soundly after entering the classroom. She never expected that someone would sleep on the table on the first day of class, but when Ino saw Yi Shenyu's exquisite facial features when I saw the face, I was immediately attracted. Shikamaru keenly noticed Ino's strange gaze, put his hands in his pockets and said speechlessly. The children nowadays are too precocious, right? HMPH, try saying something again. Ino turned his head and looked at Shikamaru with a murderous expression. Ah, Ino, I didn't say anything. Shikamaru subconsciously took a step back, hastily pretending he didn't know anything. Then he followed Ino helplessly and sat in front of Yi Shenyu. At this time, Yi Shenyu had already fallen asleep, and he didn't wake up until he felt that someone was staring at him. Turning her head, Yi Shenyu looked at the deskmate next to her. Coincidentally, when Yi Shenyu looked over, she happened to find that little girl Hanada was secretly looking at her. Subconsciously, Yi Shenyu showed a sunny smile to Hanada. Yi Shenyu's sunny smile directly stunned Hanada. A few seconds later, when Hanada realized that Yi Shenyu had discovered her peeping, her face turned red at a speed visible to the naked eye, and then she fainted from Yi Shenyu's bewildered eyes. In the next moment, Yi Shenyu hurriedly supported Hayuga Hanada's body that was about to fall, with a helpless expression on his face. Isn't it too easy to be shy? Just smile at her and you will faint. If you do other things in the future, don't you have to send her directly to the hospital? Half a minute later, Hayuga Hanada finally woke up leisurely, her little face was flushed, and she peeked at Yi Shenyu with some evasive eyes, and then said as low as a mosquito. Thank you, Kazuki-san, please teach me more in the future. Chapter 005 Handsome, you can really do whatever you want Open black lens bracket ask for flowers. Ask for collection. Close black lens bracket. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Looking at Hayuga Hanada's shy and lovely appearance, Yi Shenyu couldn't help but imagine Hanada's stunning beauty a few years later. It was hard to imagine that he, a common person from the original world, would be lucky enough to win the goddess heart. But Yi Shenyu calmed down quickly, looked at Hanada and smiled. You're welcome, Hanada. I need you to keep an eye on the teacher for me in the future. I feel sleepy as soon as I start class. Seeing Yi Shenyu smile at herself again, little Hanada's pretty face quickly turned red, so frightened that Yi Shenyu quickly put away her smiling face, lay down on the table and began to sleep. This little girl, it seems that she will have to train a lot in the future. This was the last thought of Yi Shenyu who was lying on the table, and then went to chat with Duke Zhou. Seeing Yi Shenyu sleeping on the table again, Hanada breathed a sigh of relief. Hanada herself is also very strange. Although she is usually shy, she has never been so shy after seeing Yi Shenyu. What's wrong with her? It didn't take long for the classroom to be full, and the little ones looked around curiously, full of curiosity about something. Soon, Aruka walked into the classroom, stood on the podium, looked around, listened to the noisy classroom, coughed intentionally, and motioned for silence. Seeing Aruka come in and look around, Ino subconsciously glanced at Yi Shenyu who was falling asleep behind him. At this time, Hanada's mind was on Yi Shenyu, and she didn't even notice that Aruka came in. Ino thought for a while, and pulled his chair back decisively, just blocking Aruka's sight. I have to say that Aruka at this time was still a bit majestic. After coughing, the whole classroom quickly fell silent. Advertisement. Aruka watched the students look at him curiously, smiled and said. First of all, congratulations on getting the qualification to study in ninja school. I am your teacher Uno Aruka. Next, I will spend a happy six years with you as a student. Okay, it's the first time we meet, let's introduce ourselves. Aruka took out a roster from the podium and looked at the first name. Uchiha Sasuke. I saw Sasuke stood up from his seat, and walked towards the podium coolly with his hands in his pockets. Seeing Sasuke's handsome appearance, the eyes of the girls in the class showed strange expressions. Among them, the little Sakura is the most, especially the eyes of Sasuke who glanced at the classroom inadvertently, which made her heart beat faster. This is probably love at first sight. Sasuke frowned uncomfortably at the eager eyes of the girls in the class. Hi everyone, I'm Uchiha Sasuke, and my dream is to become as strong as Big Brother. After saying a word, Sasuke walked back to his seat, watching Aruka smile bitterly. Uchiha Sasuke, you're so arrogant and indifferent, it's a bit difficult. Unlike Aruka, the girls are very happy with it. It's so cool, it's my favorite type. Wow, are you from the Uchiha family of geniuses? Envy. Advertisement. Hearing the chirping voices of the girls, Naruto cast a disdainful look at Sasuke who was pretending to be cold, and muttered. HMPH, what a stinky fart, it's really annoying to see this guy with a cold face. Just when Naruto was secretly making contemptuous gestures towards Sasuke, a voice came. Next, Uzumaki Naruto. Hearing that it was his turn, Naruto was excited, stood up immediately, and quickly ran to the podium, seeing that everyone was staring at him, immediately slapped his chest, and said proudly. Hi everyone, I am Uzumaki Naruto and I am seven years old. Ramen is my hobby, and I hate it when I wait three minutes for it to be ready. My dream is to be recognized by everyone and become the best Hokage ever. Naruto's words were quite imposing, but everyone didn't buy it at all. First, there was a weird silence in the classroom, and then there was a huge laugh. Ha ha ha, I laughed so hard, this demon fox still wants to be Hokage. Hey, what a pathetic guy, I don't know where his confidence comes from. The entrance exam is only at the middle and lower levels. I don't even know what kind of stuff I am. Yi Shenyu was awakened by the loud laughter, first raised her head and looked around in a daze, and quickly understood the situation from the complaints of the people around her and the embarrassment on Naruto's face, and her face instantly became gloomy. Anyway, Naruto is also the first younger brother I have taken in, so it's fine for me to bully him, why should others? Immediately, the lazy look in Yi Shenyu's eyes disappeared, and turned deep. Naruto, who looked embarrassed on the podium, quickly noticed his boss's expression, and thought to himself. 
Advertisement. According to the character of the boss who never suffers, this look should make me remember who is making sarcastic remarks, and then beat them up one by one. You are indeed the boss. After getting to know Yi Shenyu, Naruto has been led astray by Yi Shenyu. Usually these two guys do all kinds of evil, usually they bully others, and it's been a long time since he was ridiculed like this. Naruto nodded secretly to Yi Shenyu, indicating that he understood, then glanced around, secretly remembering the faces of several people. Except for a few guys with no distinctive appearance, the guy holding a puppy is the one who laughs the most, and the other one is Uchiha Sasuke just now. Damn, does this guy's mouth shape mean that I am an idiot? Seeing that Naruto understood what he meant, Yi Shenyu felt relieved, and soon found Ino sitting on his desk, feeling warmed up in his heart, and said in a low voice. Thank you, classmate. I'm already awake. You don't need to block me. My name is Yi Shenyu. Nice to meet you. When Ino heard Yi Shenyu's voice, his body trembled imperceptibly, and subconsciously turned his head, his beautiful eyes glanced at Yi Shenyu, who was about to say you're welcome, but was stunned by the smile on the other side. Unlike sleeping on the table before, the smiling Yi Shenyu has a strange charm at this time, which is a feeling of confidence, warmth, comfort and heartbeat. Ino was stunned for a long time, and finally his little face turned red as quickly as Hinata, and finally he hesitated for a long time before saying. You, hello, I'm Yamanaka Ino. Seeing Ino's shy appearance, Yi Shenyu couldn't help feeling. Handsome, you can really do whatever you want. Chapter 006 Yi Shenyu's dream ask for automatic. Close black lens bracket. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Looking at the students in the whole classroom laughing at Naruto, Aruka frowned slightly. Okay, okay, give me some peace. I have to say that Aruka's words are quite easy to use, at least on the first day, except for Yi Shenyu, other people are quite obedient. In a blink of an eye, the laughter around quickly disappeared, and the whole classroom became quiet again. Likewise, Aruka's words brought Ino back to reality. When Ino realized that he was staring at a boy in a daze, he turned around like a frightened little rabbit, covered his hot face with his little hands, and whispered. God, what am I doing, how can I become such an info? Looking at the classroom that became quiet again, Aruka nodded slightly, and then focused his eyes on Naruto again. Aruka didn't expect Naruto to have such awareness, and third Hokage frequently explained to him before, but he looked at Naruto with admiration. Aruka is shocked that an orphan who has suffered from the villagers all the year round has such a dream. Very good, very good ideal, but it is still difficult to realize this ideal, come on, Naruto-san. Yes, teacher Aruka, Naruto looked at Aruka in surprise, it was the first time he had spoken out about his dream, except for Yi Shenyu, someone expressed support for him. Thinking of this, little Naruto immediately cheered up. Next, advertisement. Then Ino, small Sakura and others appeared one after another. My name is Yamanaka Ino. My hobby is flower arrangement. My dream is to open a big flower shop. And. Ino subconsciously glanced at Yi Shenyu who was lying down to sleep again, opened his mouth and did not speak. Soon it will be Yi Shenyu's turn. My name is Yi Shenyu. I like to eat, drink, play and sleep late. My dream is to marry a beautiful wife, have a bunch of children, and live a peaceful life. After speaking, this guy even glanced at the classroom. Combined with what he said, this means not marrying one, but marrying several. However, because Yi Shenyu is three points more handsome than Sasuke, the girls blushed at the eyes he shot past, and there were really few who were not tempted. When Yi Shenyu's eyes accidentally touched Hinata, the latter's pretty face flushed, and then the deer bumped wildly. Mr. Yi Shenyu, are you talking about me? Ino looked at Yi Shenyu with interest, then glanced at Shikamaru beside him with one hand propped on his chin, and said listlessly. Shikamaru, this guy's dream seems to be similar to yours. Yawn. Shikamaru yawned lazily and said. Well, there is a little difference, I just marry a wife, after all, beautiful women are too troublesome. Ino looked at Shikamaru and lay down on the table without any explanation, and couldn't help muttering. The boys really are a bunch of strange guys. Advertisement. Aruka listened to Yi Shenyu talking about his dream with a dark face, and already labeled him extremely dangerous in his heart. Students in this class are really difficult to guide. They want to marry a beautiful wife and have children at a young age, and live a peaceful life. Is this the rhythm of seeing through the world? Thinking of this, Aruka was afraid that Yi Shenyu would say some shocking quotes and tapes to other students, so he hurriedly let him go down, and then began to introduce himself. Dot dot dot. After introducing himself, Aruka distributed some books for the newcomers to learn. To become a ninja is not as simple as knowing only ninjutsu, there is quite a lot to learn. Take a shuriken as an example, you need grandmaster mechanics, techniques, actual combat, etc. As for ninjutsu, it is even more complicated. When Yi Shenyu, Naruto, and Shikamaru looked at the tall books on the table, the movements of the three guys were surprisingly consistent. Stack up the books and put them away, then lie down behind the books and fall asleep. Maybe Aruka didn't notice the small movements of the three people, maybe he didn't bother to mention the three people, in short, it was already afternoon when the three woke up. In the afternoon, it is the brainwashing mode that must be carried out at the beginning of each ninja school, that is, the inheritance of the will of fire. On the stage, Sarutobi Hiruzen's speech, the will of fire, was spitting out. Uzumaki Naruto and his group heard their blood surging, and their expressions were as if they had been slapped with chicken blood, while Yi Shenyu and Shikamaru listened faintly sleepy. Shikamaru was okay. He tried his best to keep himself from falling asleep, Yi Shenyu was amazing, he kept nodding his head, finally couldn't bear the drowsiness, put his head on the back of Ino in front of him, and fell asleep just like that. Ino turned his head and looked at Yi Shenyu who was sleeping soundly and amusedly, and bit his lip lightly, finally resisted not waking him up, but stood up straight by himself, trying to cover for Yi Shenyu. However, these little moves never escaped the eyes of Sarutobi Hiruzen, who stood on the stage and saw everything clearly. 
But Sarutobi Hiruzen didn't care much about Yi Shenyu's nap, after all, no one knew better than him how naughty this sleeping guy was. It's better to fall asleep and not listen, than to wake up and make trouble. Advertisement. It was Ino's little action that made Serutobi Hiruzen smile more, and then he unexpectedly found that Hinata's eyes were always secretly looking at Yi Shenyu from time to time, and Shin Chunin couldn't help but sigh. Although this little guy is a bit mischievous, he is very popular with women. On the first day of school, the little princesses of the Yamanaka clan and the little princess of the Hayuga clan seemed to be moved. Well, what an enviable age. But after thinking about it, Serutobi Hiruzen still finished his, Will of Fire, and then chatted with the freshmen for a while, and after consoling Aruka, he left the ninja school directly. On the first day of school, there is no cumbersome study, just a general walk through the process and tell the students what to do next. After third Hokage left, Aruka brought the whole class back to the classroom, and then told everyone about the course schedule for this semester, and then explained some school precautions. This is the end of the first day of class. Okay, go to school on time tomorrow, let's leave school today. After Aruka finished speaking, he opened the classroom door and turned to leave. At the same time, Yi Shenyu, Naruto, and Shikamaru, who were still sleeping soundly a second ago, were instantly revived with full blood. The actions of the three people are surprisingly consistent, and those who don't know think that these three people are three brothers. How much these guys hate class. Ino looked at Shikamaru and Yi Shenyu speechlessly, shook his head, packed his things and went home. Yi Shenyu packed his things slowly, looked at Hanada and said. See you tomorrow, Hanada. Ah, Ming, see you tomorrow. Seeing that Yi Shenyu had no intention of leaving at all, Hanada replied hesitantly, and left silently. Watching Hanada and Ino leave, there are only a few people left in the classroom of Nuota University, among the Muchiha Sasuke. Yi Shenyu greeted Naruto, and then the two walked towards Sasuke with unkind eyes. Chapter 007. Fighting against the second pillar open black lens bracket ask for flowers. Ask for collection. Close black lens bracket. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. At this time, Sasuke, who finished packing his books, was planning to go home. For him, the so-called ninja school was not as good as home. There is no meaning here, Sasuke roughly read the knowledge in the book, and found that he basically knew a lot. Rather than wasting time here, it would be more interesting to go home and practice gymnastics to catch up with Big Brother early. In addition, Sasuke entered the ninja school as the first place in the assessment, so in his heart, there is no one in the same class who can be regarded as an opponent. What made Sasuke even more speechless was that the middle-ranked Naruto actually uttered nonsense about becoming a Hokage, which made him feel that there seemed to be something wrong with the thinking of this group of people. What's even more outrageous is that there is another guy who is clamoring to marry many beautiful wives. Sasuke feels like a shame with these guys. Thinking of this, Sasuke sighed helplessly, and at the same time suddenly felt the light in front of him dim, then raised his head and looked at Yishenyu and Naruto looking at him with malicious expressions. Naturally, Sasuke would not cower the two of them, after all, according to the results of the entrance examination, he is the chief student. First, he looked at the two with disdain, and Sasuke said indifferently. Before I get angry, you two quickly disappear from my sight. Otherwise, I will let you know how powerful the Uchiha clan is. Tsk tsk tsk, you are young, but you have a big temper. Naruto, he seems to want to beat us up, what should we do? Advertisement. Looking at Yi Shenyu's eyes, Naruto didn't know what he was thinking, and immediately persuaded. Boss, it's not good to hit someone in the classroom on the first day of school. Naruto saw Yi Shenyu nodded slightly, then knocked on the table, looked at Sasuke carelessly and said. Don't think that you are great because you won the first place in the entrance examination, Mu Shuyu Lin Feng must. Feng must be what's going on, boss. Naruto pretended halfway, but suddenly forgot his words, and looked at Yi Shenyu with embarrassment. Hey, with a little brother like you, I don't know if it's a blessing or a curse. Mu Shuyu Lin Feng will definitely destroy him. Yes, the wind will destroy it. You are just the number one on the surface. In fact, the real number one is not you at all, but my boss. Seeing Naruto's triumphant look, Sasuke's eyes became gloomy. Whispering, Sasuke was in a hurry to go home, not wanting to continue listening to Naruto's rambling, his eyes changed, and he punched Naruto in the face. However, just when Sasuke's punch was about to knock down Naruto's face, he suddenly felt a huge force from his wrist, and then no matter how hard he tried, he couldn't move the slightest. Sasuke looked horrified, only to realize that it was Yi Shenyu, who always had a faint smile on his face, making the shot. Yi Shenyu's hand was like a pair of pliers, Sasuke exhausted all his strength, like a mud cow sinking into the sea, the other party didn't even respond at all. Advertisement. And Yi Shenyu felt the strength coming from Sasuke's arm, and couldn't help but secretly nodded. No wonder Sasuke is so proud. He does have some capital. As far as his power is concerned, he has already surpassed Naruto by a lot, but. This does not mean that Yi Shenyu wants to let the other party go, on the contrary, his future fun may include bullying Sasuke. Eating, sleeping, flirting with girls, and bullying Urzuzi, what a perfect plan. Damn it, let go of your hand if you have the ability, and compete with me in an open and honest manner. What is strength? Oh, you're still not convinced. Okay. Okay, how about we go to the playground to make gestures? Feeling Yi Shenyu let go of his hand, Sasuke rubbed his sore wrist, and looked at Yi Shenyu with slightly changed eyes. Five minutes later, Yi Shenyu and Sasuke came to the playground, and Sasuke looked at each other warily. As for Yi Shenyu, he looked indifferent, but his eyes moved slightly, and he keenly spotted Uchiha Itachi who came to pick up Sasuke. Why did this guy come here? EMMM, beat up his brother in front of him, there shouldn't be any problem, right? At the same time, Sasuke also found Uchiha Itachi, and suddenly his whole person's momentum changed. Don't embarrass big brother, I will definitely beat this guy. 
Naruto stood aside, looking at Sasuke and Yi Shenyu boredly, and couldn't help muttering. Advertisement. Honestly being beaten up by the boss won't be the end of it. I really don't understand what this guy is thinking. Just when Naruto was secretly feeling emotional, Sasuke moved. He first threw six shurikens with both hands in an instant, and then rushed over with Kanai in his hand. It has to be said that Sasuke does have the capital to be proud of, and the accuracy of his shuriken throwing is indeed a lot behind his peers. However, he faced Yi Shenyu, a man with observation hockey. Facing the shuriken that was flying towards him rapidly, Yi Shenyu's face was calm, his body only moved slightly, and then he easily dodged from the gap between the shuriken's attacks. What? Seeing this scene, Uchiha Itachi in the distance was directly shocked. He knew the strength of Sasuke best. As for the six shuriken just now, even if another chunin came over, he would have to use kanai to block them one by one, and more people would dodge by moving in a wide range. But Yi Shenyu can calmly dodge in the gap between shuriken attacks. This vision and body control alone have surpassed Kamen's chunin. Upon discovering this, Uchiha Itachi looked at Yi Shenyu with a slightly changed look, and couldn't help but sigh with emotion. This guy, it's not easy. Chapter 008 Is there such a benefit in fighting? Please subscribe. Ask for automatic. Close black lens bracket. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Yi Shenyu easily dodged the shuriken, and watched Sasuke rushing towards him with Kanai in his hand, he couldn't help but nodded secretly. Sasuke's speed is quite good. This strength is indeed much stronger than others, but it is not enough for him. The next moment, instead of retreating, Yi Shenyu stepped forward and turned his body slightly, not only avoiding Sasuke's attack skillfully, but also getting close to Sasuke's body. This attack is full of flaws, especially the opening in the middle lane. Let me teach you a lesson. After the words fell, Sasuke felt a strong force coming from his abdomen, and then he flew backwards uncontrollably. Deng tang tang, bang. Sasuke backed up a few crooked steps, still unable to stabilize his body, until he hit a tree heavily at last, and barely stopped. Damn it, isn't this guy moving too fast? Sasuke subconsciously covered his lower abdomen, then looked at Yi Shenyu with serious eyes, and launched an attack again. Hey, isn't it? Come on, I've already shown mercy. Seeing Sasuke attacking again, Yi Shenyu couldn't help but look depressed. He just looked at Itachi's face and didn't hit hard just now, otherwise Sasuke would be lying on the ground and couldn't get up now. I thought it would be enough to just click it, but I didn't expect this guy to rush up again. Well, if that's the case. Watching Sasuke gnash his teeth and charge again, the laziness in Yi Shenyu's eyes disappeared. Advertisement. The next moment, a golden light flashed, and Yi Shenyu suddenly disappeared from Sasuke's sight. Where are people? Sasuke looked at the front with a face of shock, but he didn't see Yi Shenyu. Behind, Sasuke, Uchiha Itachi reminded subconsciously, Sasuke turned his head instinctively when he heard the words, and then saw a foot zooming in quickly in his eyes. Sasuke closed his eyes subconsciously, it was too late to parry at this time. Boom, there was a muffled sound, and the imagined pain didn't come. Sasuke slowly opened his eyes, only to find that Uchiha Itachi was protecting him. It turned out that Uchiha Itachi rushed to the critical moment and blocked the blow for Sasuke with his left arm. But this is also the reason why Yi Shenyu deliberately slowed down a little and deliberately gave the opponent a chance. After all, my current strength is still too far behind Uchiha Itachi, and I still need to hide my clumsiness appropriately. Seeing Yi Shenyu withdraw his right foot, Uchiha Itachi nodded and said. Good speed and strength, it seems that the current Sasuke is not your opponent. Yi Shenyu glanced at Uchiha Itachi, and said lightly. Advertisement. Go back and train your brother more, you can't save the field at critical moments every time, you're right. Watching Yi Shenyu walk away with Naruto, Uchiha Itachi rubbed Sasuke's head. Okay, Sasuke, it seems that I will increase the intensity of your training from today, otherwise you may not be able to beat that guy in a short time. Ah, Sasuke scratched his head in annoyance, with a look of confusion on his face. As that guy that strong? Well, although he deliberately hides his strength, I can feel it. When I was his age, there was a high probability that I couldn't beat him. Sasuke was shocked when he heard the words, and the way he looked at Yi Shenyu suddenly changed. As this guy so strong? At the same time, Sarutobi Hiruzen looked at Yi Shenyu who was talking and laughing with Naruto in the crystal ball, and couldn't help falling into deep thought. I know this kid is not easy, but didn't I expect that even Sasuke is not his opponent? Third Hokage looked puzzled, he usually observed Yi Shenyu with the telescope technique. This little bastard has been to the women's bathhouse, read adult books, lied to people, and fought, but he has never practiced. There is no reason to force him like this. And Yi Shenyu's late parents were nothing more than Kamen's Chunin strength, which is unscientific. Advertisement. Third generation scratched his goat's wish for a long time without any clue, and finally said to himself. Hum, I thought going to the ninja school would let this kid know how good he is, but I didn't expect Sasuke to be no match. In this case, it's appropriate to let Uruka open the back door for this little guy, so as not to lead others astray. It's. On the other hand, after bidding farewell to Naruto, the myriad realms knowledge chip in Yi Shenyu's mind prompted. In the fierce battle with Sasuke, your perception of observation hockey plus 25 points. Conqueror's hockey plus 25 points. Armament hockey plus 25 points. Yi Shenyu didn't know the concept of adding 25 points, but he felt that the scenes of the battle just now were playing in his mind like a movie. Then countless countermeasures appeared in his mind, and then his understanding of Conqueror's hockey deepened a little. After a long time, when Yi Shenyu opened his eyes, the expression on his face became weird. This battle has gained much more than he imagined. Not only the improvement of Conqueror's hockey, but also the increase of combat experience is pervert. Next time you encounter this situation, Yi Shenyu will have hundreds of solutions to deal with it. The increase in combat experience is absolutely subversive to the improvement of strength. 
Just realizing this, Yi Shenyu touched his chin and couldn't help thinking. It seems that if you want to improve your strength quickly, you still need to exercise your body properly occasionally. Chapter 009 Competing for the Chief Student Ask for Collection. Close black lens bracket. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Time flies, and two months have passed in a blink of an eye. In the past two months, Yi Shenyu's life has undergone tremendous changes. Now Yi Shenyu's mental power is immune to all illusions below Jonan, and as his mental power increases, he finds that his ability to control sparkling fruit is also increasing. The most obvious thing is that although he can't use Tian Kongin sword, an ultra-short dagger can still be simulated. However, the price of increased mental power is extremely drowsiness. The more you sleep late, the more comfortable you are, and the time you are late is getting longer and longer. In Yi Shenyu's words, it would be frantic exploration on the verge of death. But what surprised Yi Shenyu was that Aruka didn't seem to have any extreme reaction to his lateness. At most, he would chatter a few words in dissatisfaction, but there was no real punishment, as if he turned a blind eye. Mean. Yi Shenyu speculated that it should be the old man of the third generation supporting himself, thinking that after learning nothing in the ninja school, he didn't bother to restrain himself. After all, even if I skipped class and went out for a walk, it would be better than sleeping in the classroom. Of course, only Yi Shenyu and Naruto are absent from class and Aruka doesn't care, and the others will end up miserable if they skip class. Knowing this, Yi Shenyu was in a good mood, dragged Naruto and ran towards the back hill. On the way to the back mountain, Naruto looked at Yi Shenyu suspiciously. Boss, is it really okay for us to skip class like this? What are you absent from class? I called you to the back mountain to practice. Do you think you can learn anything at school? Advertisement. Ah, uh, Naruto was stunned, and randomly looked at Yi Shenyu with bright eyes. Practice. Boss, are you really willing to teach me practice? Why, am I not worthy? Yi Shenyu's eyes moved slightly, realizing that Anbu, who had been spying on Naruto all the year round, hadn't gone to work today, so he raised his right hand randomly, and quickly stretched out his index finger. The next moment, the eye-catching gold flashes from the moment. Seeing this, Naruto's eyes lit up enviously. This is the limit of the blood successor of the boss, who can control light, envy. Then, Naruto watched seven or eight clusters of light shoot out from Yishenyu's index finger in an instant, and they flew towards the distant mountain in just an instant. Boom, boom, boom. Immediately there were continuous explosions in the distance, and then thick dust rose up, and little Naruto opened his mouth wide in shock, unable to close it for a long time. Yi Shenyu seemed to have done an insignificant thing, and continued to walk forward with his hands in his pockets. After a long time, after the dust settled, Naruto saw several small pits with a diameter of more than one meter in the distance. See Gui, as expected of the boss, he can launch an attack of this level with ease, and the power is quite amazing. It seems that following the boss is still very promising. Um, ninja school, it doesn't matter if you don't go. Advertisement. Thinking of this, little Naruto looked at Yi Shenyu who had gone far away, and hurriedly chased after him. Yi Shenyu looked at Naruto looking at herself with admiration, and the corners of her mouth could not help but curl up slightly. Occasionally, I still have to show Naruto how powerful I am, otherwise, how could the other party follow me so hard? Then, Yi Shenyu took Naruto to the back mountain and started to build his own small base. Anyway, no one cares about the back mountain of Konoha. Taking out the saw and blade from the space scroll, Yi Shenyu gave a serious warning, and Naruto began to enter the, practice. Hmm, it's good to have a younger brother. The task of building the house will be handed over to Naruto. As for me. Yi Shenyu came to the side of the endless lake, took out a ceiling scroll again, and pressed her right hand on it. Boom. After a puff of white smoke, a well-made recliner appeared in front of him. Yi Shenyu lay comfortably on it, waved his right hand casually, and after the golden light shone, the Wanji fishing rod appeared in his hand. After putting on the bait, Yi Shenyu flung out the hook lazily, then yawned contentedly, and began to take a lunch break. In the following time, Yi Shenyu felt that everything in life seemed to be going super smoothly. Fishing by the lake, sleeping in the classroom, and occasionally bullying Sasuke under the guise of sparring with itchy hands, this little life is not to mention how comfortable it is. In two months, the ninja school has taught some theoretical knowledge, as well as a certain degree of ninja training courses. Yi Shenyu also occasionally goes to school to register. Of course, his purpose is not to study, but the main purpose is to find Sasuke to, compete, or miss Hinata and Ino. Ino is also very interested in Yi Shenyu, a guy who runs around all day without seeing anyone. Advertisement. This guy is either not there, even if he sees it occasionally in the classroom, he is sleeping soundly. What makes Ino most depressed is that Mr. Aruka turns a blind eye to this. In addition, a theory test was conducted in the past two months, and the first place was actually Yi Shenyu, who was invisible all day long. This result shocked all the bullies enough, cooperating with me to study every day, why not this one who cuts classes every day? Similarly, after getting their grades, a group of students who gave Yi Shenyu and Naruto small reports every day had to announce their temporary abandonment. In the afternoon, Aruka organized the students to come to the playground, looked at the students and said. Students, it has been two months since I entered school. During the two months of study, the school not only taught you some theoretical knowledge exams, but also taught you some practical skills and training. However, you have never been assessed in this area. Now the school has decided to hold a practical assessment in the near future. Please strengthen your training in the near future and strive for a good ranking. After all, this assessment is to decide who is the chief student in the class. After what Aruka said, the whole class became excited immediately, number one. Who wouldn't want to compete for the first place for a child of this age? When everyone was cheering, only Sasuke subconsciously glanced at the direction of the back mountain. In the next second, Sasuke's face turned pale. R, do you want to compete again? Chapter 010, The Black Sheep Open Black Lens Bracket Subscribe. 
Ask for automatic. Close black lens bracket. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. When Aruka said this, he subconsciously glanced at the crowd, and when he found that Yishenyu and Naruto were not there, he couldn't help grinding his teeth secretly. To be honest, Aruka still doesn't understand what Serutobi Hiruzen is thinking, why he indulged Yishenyu and Naruto so much, if it were someone else, he would have already beaten him all over the head. Although Aruka had some complaints in his heart, he still smiled and said to his classmates. Then I hope everyone will train hard from today, and then we will be bravely fighting for the chief student. Yes, looking at the excited eyes of the little ones, Aruka nodded secretly. The secret of teaching is to mobilize students' interest and then guide them. Only in this way can we deliver excellent students. Afterwards, Aruka walked up to Choji's side, patted his shoulder and motioned to follow him. Choji wasn't interested in the chief student, he was just a little annoyed that he didn't bring enough potato chips today and accidentally finished them. Feeling Aruka sensei pat him on the shoulder, Choji hesitated and followed. Aruka naturally knew what little Choji needed. When he came to the corner, he handed a bag of potato chips to little Choji. Seeing the other person's eyes shining, Aruka said. For the sake of the potato chips I gave you, please call Naruto and Yishenyu back for me. After all, I don't know where they are now. Choji couldn't wait to open the potato chips and stuff them into his mouth. Hearing that Aruka needed help was not complicated, he agreed without thinking. Mr. Aruka, don't worry about finding them back. I'll go and call them back. Well, hard work. Aruka watched Choji leave confidently, with a smile on his face. Hum, Choji must be here, so I should be able to call those two guys back. However, when the time went from morning to noon and Choji had no intention of coming back, Aruka was depressed. Advertisement. E-M-M-M. Choji must have been tempted by those two guys, so he forgot to come back, right? It seems that I should find someone with a high IQ this time, so that I won't be called back, and I will be involved. After thinking about it, Aruka called Shikamaru, who was the smartest in the class, to go. The condition he promised was that he could turn a blind eye to Shikamaru and sleep in class. This time, watching Shikamaru leave with confidence, Aruka was greatly relieved. With Shikamaru here, those guys will definitely be called back. However, when the time came and there was only one hour left before school, Aruka was depressed. What's the matter? It's fine that Choji didn't come back, maybe he was tricked by the food, but why didn't Shikamaru come back? Aruka thought for a while, and decided to let Ino, the big sister and the girl, go and have a look. When Aruka told Ino about his request, before he had time to say the benefits, the little Ino agreed and promised to bring all of them back. Seeing Aruka's bewildered expression, Ino feared that he would change his mind, so he giggled and left quickly. Yi Shenyu and Naruto are in the back mountain, this Ino naturally knows. In the past two months, due to school reasons, Ino has been curious about what these two guys are doing in the back mountain and why they don't come to school. It was with curiosity that Ino quickly ran towards the back hill. Half an hour later, Ino came to a large lake in Konoha Haushan. Standing on the tree, she could see two fishing rods, one long and one short, falling into the lake. One person was lying leisurely on the recliner with his legs crossed, while the other found a large piece of cloth and lay on it, leisurely looking at the clouds in the sky. Next to the two were two figures, one fat and one thin. At this time, the two were grilling something. But Ino could see Choji wiping his mouth from afar, as if some extremely delicious meat was being grilled. So it turned out that Choji-kun was lured away with delicious food, and Shikamaru was tricked away with fishing and salted fish. That guy Shikamaru really seems to yearn for this life. Ino sighed helplessly, then walked over curiously. Advertisement. As he got closer, Ino realized how comfortable Yi Shenyu's life was. The tall trees on the lake completely cover the sun at this time, so there will be gusts of cool wind blowing by. Someone is wearing sunglasses, crossing his legs, holding his head with his hands, and humming an unknown song. Ino doesn't even want to go to school anymore. What's even more hateful is that to the right of this guy is a small table with a beautifully crafted teapot on it. Yi Shenyu picked up the teapot and took a sip, then continued to close her eyes and hum a ditty. Today, don't mention how comfortable it is. Thinking that he was listening to boring lectures in the classroom, and these guys could enjoy life leisurely here, Ino pouted with dissatisfaction and came to Yi Shenyu's side. Hey, you guys, you can live so comfortably here without class, why didn't you call me? In two months, although Yi Shenyu didn't go to school many times, she got to know Ino very well. Seeing her cute pouting mouth, she looked quite aggrieved, and said helplessly. Hey, hey, don't be like this, anyway, you are also the big sister of our class, if you kidnap you and follow me here to fish and skip class, teacher Aruka may not be able to attend class. Blind, what are you talking about, what, what abduction? Ino blushed slightly, and was about to say something, but was interrupted by Yi Shenyu. Yi Shenyu carefully took out a nice pair of sunglasses from her arms, and handed them to Ino seriously. Okay, I was wrong. I bought these sunglasses with great difficulty after traveling all over the stores on Muya Street in my spare time. After receiving the delicate headgear handed over by Yi Shenyu, Ino's eyes shone with a strange look. How could Ino have seen Mont Blanc sunglasses? Naturally, the more he looked at the exquisitely crafted sunglasses, the more he liked them. Ino carefully put on the sunglasses, feeling a little more comfortable with the harsh eyes. Yi Shenyu took out a mirror like a trick, and said cheerfully. No, these eyes are quite suitable for you. Ino looked at himself in the mirror looking cool with sunglasses, and nodded in satisfaction. Wonder how much it took the idiot to get me these sunglasses. Advertisement. Thinking of this, Ino looked at Yi Shenyu with a moved face. The slight dissatisfaction with Yi Shenyu just now had been completely forgotten. Yi Shenyu looked at Ino's eyes, rubbed Ino's little head with a smile, and said cheerfully. Okay, it's just a little effort. By the way, Ino, have you eaten yet? Why don't I make you something delicious? Huh, will you do it for me? Really, 
Really? Ino looked at Yi Shenyu with a look of surprise. She didn't have enough food at noon, and in addition to running so far to the back of the mountain, she consumed a lot of energy, so she would already be a little hungry. At this time, I heard that this lazy guy actually cooks for himself, how could he bear it? Seeing Ino's pitiful nod, Yi Shenyu quickly got up from the recliner, pointed to the purple clay pot beside him, and said with a smile. The weather is too hot. The green tea I specially brewed can refresh you and reduce the heat. This is a rare moment before the rain. The Zisha pot and Yuxian Maojian are naturally caught by Wanji fishing rod. Seeing Ino's curious face, Yi Shenyu smiled slightly and started to barbecue by himself. Ino curiously picked up the purple sand teapot and poured himself a cup, only to find that this magical teapot has smooth water flow and beautiful shape, but the poor fragrance poured out is quite strong. After drinking a cup, the fatigue caused by the rush just now disappeared in an instant, and the whole person became energetic. Ino's beautiful eyes can't help but brighten a lot, especially when he sees the back of Yi Shenyu starting to be busy in the distance. For an extremely lazy guy like Yi Shenyu, who is willing to take the initiative to cook for himself, how important is he in his heart? Thinking of this, Ino's mood is extremely complicated, and his heart is completely messed up. In Hokage's office, Sarutobi Hiruzen looked at what happened by the lake through the crystal ball, and couldn't help but sigh. This guy is really a black sheep. He directly assimilated three in one day, and one. The crystal ball showed the complicated expression on Ino's face, and a playful smile appeared on Sarutobi Hiruzen's face. EMMM. Anyway, puppy love is not good. 011 is Yi Shenyu poisonous. Ask for flowers. Ask for collection. Close black lens bracket. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Yi Shenyu held his right hand falsely, and the gold light shone, and then countless light elements gathered together to form a small short blade that radiated gold light. This short blade of light is about a foot long, and it looks very cool with a golden light. Choji and Naruto on the side saw Yi Shenyu use this trick for the first time, and their eyes were full of admiration. While grilling the meat, Naruto asked in a voiceless voice. Boss, what is that? Hey, just use a small dagger made of light elements, calm down. To say that the 24k gold glittering dagger is really cool, Yi Shenyu instantly became the focus of everyone. Then Yi Shenyu fished out a red monster fish nearly half a meter long from the fishing net in the lake. This is the tuna from the magical world. It looks similar to the tuna from the previous life, but the whole body exudes red magic waves. This muslin was caught by Yi Shenyu in the morning, and he planned to have a big meal with Naruto in the evening, but now it seems that he should entertain Ino. Yi Shenyu's eyes were fixed, Conqueror's hockey stunned the musket in an instant, and then he picked up the tuna and put it by the lake to start cleaning. That is to say, the short blade of light is extremely sharp, which makes the musketeer, which is difficult for both shuriken and kanai, to be dissembled and cut into delicious pieces. For an experienced foodie, grilling fish fillets is not difficult for him. A tuna weighing about 20 kilograms was quickly cut into slices of extremely tempting red fish fillets in his hands. The fish fillet was washed repeatedly with mountain spring water, and then the whole person shone with golden light. When he reappeared, there were already a few large leaves in his hand. From the sealed scroll, he took out the prickly ash that he usually picked when he was bored, and seasoned the fish fillets. After finishing all this, Yi Shenyu took out the prepared barbed wire and put it on the fire, and started to grill by himself. Not long after, an extremely strong fragrance began to spread by the lake, and a few foodies came over with their eyes shining. Advertisement. Choji instantly felt that the potato chips in his hand were no longer tasty, and his small eyes fixed on the fish slices that Yi Shenyu was handcuffing behind his back. The fish oil slowly oozes from the leaves, and soon the fish meat turns golden yellow. Coupled with the fragrance of the fish meat, the few people are not calm for a moment. Yi Shenyu put two large pieces of fish on the wire mesh. After all, the wire mesh is so big that there is no way to roast too much at one time. It looks delicious. Ino couldn't sit still, smelling the aroma, looking like a little glutton, walked quickly beside Yi Shenyu, his face full of wanting to eat. Seeing Ino looking at herself pitifully, Yi Shenyu said helplessly. Don't worry, I'm adding some seasoning, and it's not cooked yet, just wait. Huh, isn't it ripe yet, but it smells so good. Seeing Yi Shenyu constantly sprinkling seasonings, and the smell from the fish fillets became more and more irresistible, Ino pouted dissatisfiedly. Actually, it doesn't matter at all. EMMM, it's almost enough, you can eat it. It's been baked for more than 10 minutes, will it be messed up if it's baked again? Wow, give me something to eat, I'm so hungry. The greatest pain in life is that you are so hungry and panic, but you can't eat delicious food in front of you. Smelling the tempting fish fillets, Ino leaned his little head on Yi Shenyu's body, muttering differently in his mouth. A few minutes later, when Ino was thinking whether to knock Yi Shenyu unconscious, and then grab the grilled fish slices to eat, he suddenly felt Yi Shenyu pat him on the head. Okay, little greedy cat, you can eat it. Yi Shenyu served the grilled fish fillet on a clean plate, and then disappeared. When she reappeared, she had a wet toothpick in her hand. Advertisement. Holding his right hand empty, the short blade of light appeared again. The next moment, he cut the complete grilled fish fillet into countless square pieces, and then stuck each toothpick on a piece of fish. Yi Shenyu handed a large plate of grilled fish to Ino, whose eyes were shining, and then handed another piece to Choji, and started grilling again on his own. Ino happily took the plate, and couldn't wait to pick up a small piece of fish and smell it. Wow, it smells so good. Ino muttered something, then couldn't help it anymore, and started to eat. She sat beside Yi Shenyu in a disfigured way and shouted, hot, but she couldn't bear to slow down and started eating. After one bite, it was delicious, tender and smooth, and the taste was unexpectedly good. It was a delicacy that I had never tasted before. Ino's happy eyes narrowed into a beautiful crescent shape. Hey, eat slowly, don't choke. Yi Shenyu pampered Ino's little head, moved his right hand slightly, and took out a bottle of pure natural mountain spring water collected by himself from the sealed scroll. Ino just ate too fast and felt a little thirsty. 
Seeing Yi Shen Yu hand over the water thoughtfully, he drank it bluntly. Wow, this water is so sweet and thirst quenching. Eno sighed with emotion, and couldn't help but rewarded Yi Shen Yu with a meme, and then continued to fight. Yi Shen Yu touched his handsome face, secretly thinking that it was not a loss. Cooking for a daughter in law in person, this wave of blood earns money. However, when Eno quickly finished the grilled fish and looked at himself pitifully a few minutes later, Yi Shen Yu's face was full of black lines. Fortunately, the girl's appetite is not very big. After Eno finished the third grilled fish fillet, he clutched his stomach and couldn't eat anything. Afterwards, Naruto became a coolie again, and under Yi Shen Yu's urging, he began to bake carefully. This afternoon, several people were full. When the sun was setting, a few people were lying by the lake in a shapeless, big, shape. From time to time, someone burped. Advertisement. More than twenty caddies of musket fish were eaten up by five people just like that. Eno sighed with reminiscence. Yi Shen Yu, the grilled fish you cook is really delicious. I have never eaten such a delicious grilled fish before. It is much better than the so-called grilled fish shops in the commercial street. Yi Shen Yu touched Eno's little head amusedly. Ham, I like to eat. I will make you all kinds of different things every day. Um, Eno leaned towards Yi Shen Yu with a happy face, feeling extremely satisfied in his heart. The little lowly is full of food and drink, and her physical fitness has increased by more than seventy. Yi Shen Yu blows the cool night breeze and looks at the slowly setting sun. She can't help but sigh. This is life. Compared with Yi Shen Yu's self-satisfaction, Sarutobi Hiruzen's whole person is not good. Through the crystal ball, Sarutobi Hiruzen clearly saw that the expression on Eno's face was 80% similar to that of Yi Shen Yu, and he couldn't help but get a black line in his head. It's over, the little princess of the Yamanaka family has fallen. On the other side, Uruka looked dazed as he watched the sky getting darker. What's the situation? It's fine if Shikamaru and Choji don't come back, but it's almost school and Eno is gone forever. Is this a collective strike? This Yi Shen Yu is poisonous, right? Percent. Chapter 0012 Comprehensive examination, ask for flowers. Ask for collection. Close black lens bracket. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. In a blink of an eye, the sun went down and the sky darkened. Yi Shen Yu stretched beautifully on the recliner, and gently patted Eno who was sleeping next to her. Girl, after calculating the time, school is over, hurry up and go home. Yawn. Eno yawned, opened his eyes in a daze, and when he found himself in Yi Shen Yu's arms, his face flushed with shame. OMG, what did my? Yi Shen Yu looked at this amusedly. Eno blushed and couldn't help touching his little head. Okay. Okay, don't be shy, did you forget what you did just now? After saying that, Yi Shen Yu pointed to his face with a smile, and then Eno remembered that he seemed to be too happy before, unintentionally. HMPH, bad guy. Eno pursed her cute little mouth, quickly got up from lying down, and couldn't help stretching. Hum, it's been a long time since I slept so soundly. It was the first time Eno slept so soundly since he was a little older and couldn't sleep with his parents. No, I still want to forget something. When he woke up, Eno felt that his head was much clearer, and he tilted his head to think. I always feel like I've forgotten something. Seeing Eno tilting his head to think about things, Yi Shen Yu also randomly collected the Wanji fishing rod and reminded. Forget about the time, did teacher Aruka ask you to talk about the exam? Ah, Eno was stunned for a moment, then suddenly realized. That's right, teacher Aruka said that he will take a physical fitness test in the near future, and strive to be the first in the class, and let you and Naruto go back to training. Hey, don't worry, I'll just go to class tomorrow. But, advertisement. Just when Eno was about to speak, a familiar voice came from afar. Yi Shen Yu, Choji, Shikamaru, Eno. Huh, is it the voice of Aruka sensei Originally Shikamaru was fishing leisurely, but when he heard this voice, his face changed drastically. The same goes for Choji and Naruto, who were caught red-handed after all. Only Ino and Yi Shen Yu looked calm. One of these two is no one can control, and the other is worthy of no one. Seeing Aruka running over anxiously, Yi Shen Yu couldn't help feeling warm in his heart. Undoubtedly, Aruka was worried that Yi Shen Yu and Ino would be in danger, so he ran over to find them in person. Shikamaru, I told you to call someone, and you ran here to fish. Do you believe that I'm going to tell Luju about your absence from school? Ah, shocked, Shikamaru immediately lowered his head and listened to Aruka's lecture honestly. Ten minutes later, except for Yi Shen Yu and Ino, the other scolded dogs were bloody. Aruka didn't know how to communicate with girls, especially the little princesses of the Yamanaka clan. He was afraid that the words would be too serious, so he didn't say anything. As for Yi Shen Yu, the instigator, Aruka decided to kill his prestige in the next exam, so he doesn't plan to care about it now. Anyway, several other people in Aruka trained next to each other for more than ten minutes, which can be regarded as venting out the depression of the past few months. Seeing that the attitude of a few people admitting their mistakes is not bad, they continued. Okay, those who are absent from class are almost fine, give me a good test this time, and if the results are good, I don't care what you want to do. However, if your grades are not satisfactory, hee hee, then teach me honestly in the future, do you hear me? Okay, I see. Seeing Yi Shen Yu nod helplessly, Aruka looked satisfied. Okay, okay, now send Ino home quickly, understand? Oh, okay, let's go then. Watching a few troublesome little ghosts leave, Aruka looked at everything around him curiously. Tisk tisk, do these brats really enjoy themselves? This reclining chair is not bad. Advertisement. Aruka lay on it, nodded with satisfaction. Well, it's a good recliner chair. This one feels like it's worth 5,000 tails at least. Afterwards, Aruka lay down comfortably, enjoying the majesty by the lake, and his mood improved a lot. Hey, these little guys know how to live better than me. Living the life of an old man at a young age. 
However, it's not bad to blow some wind here occasionally and relax for a while. Afterwards, Sarutobi Hiruzen at the other end of the crystal ball watched Aruka pick up the fishing rod beside the deck chair with a black line on his face. This fishing rod was left behind when Shikamaru left. Aruka picked up the fishing rod, hung an earthworm on it very skillfully, and started fishing with a relaxed face. Looking at Aruka's appearance, Sarutobi Hiruzen seemed to see the shadow of Yi Shenyu. Hey, that bastard is really a black sheep. Dot dot dot. The next day, on the playground, Aruka silently tapped the students with his hands behind his back. Finally one day all the staff arrived, it was not easy. Silently sighing, Aruka picked up the form in his hand, looked at the students and said. Okay, finally everyone is here, so I will briefly talk about it. In two months, I believe you all have learned a lot of skills here. Everyone must feel that you have made great progress, and you are all curious about who was the real number one in the class. Yes, okay, in view of this situation, we are going to conduct a surprise mock test, first of all, a quiz of physical skills. Hearing Aruka's words, the students were a little unresponsive. Inazuka Tooth asked dissatisfied, didn't you say that the exam will take a few days? Why is the exam suddenly coming? Hey, it's only through a surprise inspection that you can see your true level. Who has a problem? In the next few days, our goal is the actual combat test. The first is, the comprehensive quiz. A girl raised her hand weakly and asked, advertisement. Then, teacher Aruka, what is the comprehensive quiz? To put it simply, you can use any method you can think of to defeat your opponent. You can use taijutsu, ninjutsu or even illusion. Of course, you probably only know taijutsu so far. Aruka looked at the crowd with a serious face and said. This time it's no longer the simple drills taught to you in class, where one person makes a move and the other dismantles the move, but a real duel. The battle will not end until the winner is determined. Okay, that's fair, Sasuke, watch me beat you myself this time. As soon as Aruka finished speaking, Uzumaki Naruto came out of the team, looking at Sasuke with provocative eyes. Naturally, Sasuke didn't bother to talk to Naruto, but just looked at Yishenyu, who was dozing in the crowd, with fear flashing in his eyes. Seeing that Sasuke didn't take himself seriously, Naruto said angrily. Damn it, what kind of eyes do you have, don't let me touch you. Hey, just like you, you still want to beat me. Practice for another ten years. Sasuke glanced at Naruto with disdain, and closed his eyes randomly. Damn it, big talker, give me. Boom, Naruto was rewarded with a popcorn by Aruka, and then looked at him threateningly. Either quiet down for me, or start copying books now. Ah, then I'd better be quiet. Ah ha ha. Seeing Naruto's instant love, the girls who have a crush on Sasuke are very happy. Aruka watched Naruto quiet down before continuing. By the way, the comprehensive assessment is not for you to fight whoever you want, but for random selection. After the words fell, Aruka quickly pulled out two notes from a cardboard box. After opening the note and seeing the name on it, Aruka smiled and said. I announce that in the first round of the comprehensive assessment, Yi Shenyu will face Inazuka Kiba. Percent. Chapter 013. Instant kill open black lens bracket ask for flowers. Ask for collection. Close black lens bracket. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. When Inazuka heard Aruka announce the opponents, his face was full of smiles. Ha ha ha. Against a trash who has been absent from school all the year round, it doesn't feel like winning. Everyone looked at Inazuka ya enviously, but it's not their fault that they underestimated Yi Shenyu. It is true that Yi Shenyu has been absent from classes all year round, and her entrance examination results are also mediocre, and she doesn't usually study, so how could she be so good? Everyone even doubted whether Yi Shenyu could throw a shuriken well. Where is Yi Shenyu? Aruka looked into the crowd and saw that the little guy was napping against Ino with a face full of enjoyment. Feeling teacher Aruka's eyes, Ino blushed and quickly shook Yi Shenyu awake. Hey, bad guy, the exam is over. Ah, Yi Shenyu looked around in a daze, completely unaware of what was going on. Seeing this, Hanada at the side hurriedly told Yi Shenyu what happened in a low voice. Inazuka ya looked at Yi Shenyu who was moaning, and said proudly. Hey, Yi Shenyu, if it's a man, come up and fight with me, don't be shy, let me despise you. Wow, wow, hearing that Akamaru made up the sword, Inazuka was even more proud. Of course, I'm not the kind of person who likes to bully the weak. If you think you can't beat it, you can just come here and admit defeat. Advertisement. Wow, seeing Yi Shenyu walking up without fear, Inazuka ya shook his head helplessly. Admitting defeat now can save me from the pain of flesh and blood. If I were you, I would choose to surrender. Wow woof woof. Yi Shenyu looked at Inazuka toothlessly, frowning slightly. It has to be said that the guys from the Inazuka clan are really a bit powerful when they provoke. This one person and one dog just want to talk about the funny and flattering of crosstalk, and when combined, it is really maddening. In just a few words, Yi Shenyu became very angry. Yi Shenyu was too lazy to talk nonsense, so he and Inazuka ya made an opposing handprint on the stage, and they each backed away. Inazuka took a few steps back, and then narrowed his eyes slightly. Just when he was about to show Yi Shenyu a little color, he suddenly found that the situation was not quite right as he had imagined. This guy seemed to be carelessly standing opposite him, but why did he have a feeling that he had no flaws? With this feeling, Inazuka ya felt that no matter what kind of attack he launched, it would not have the slightest effect. How can this be? How can a guy who was absent from school all the year round and has mediocre grades in the entrance exam put more pressure on himself than the geniuses of the Uchiha clan? Facing Uchiha Sasuke, you don't feel that way either. Inazuka ya believed in his directness, so he didn't dare to take it lightly at the moment. Yi Shenyu saw that Inazuka hadn't launched an attack for a long time, and recalled how many times he heard the small report of this typewriter outside Aruka's office, and decided to clean up this thing. 
Thinking of this, Yi Shen Yu's eyes instantly changed drastically. In Akamaru's eyes, Yi Shen Yu's eyes suddenly glowed red, and then the whole person's aura instantly became extremely irritable. In the next second, Akamaru felt as if he was facing a titan with a height of 1,000 meters. The terrifying pressure was pressing on his body like a mountain, and he passed out immediately after rolling his eyes. Advertisement. Afterwards, Inazuka Ya was shocked to find that Akamaru, who was screaming one second, passed out directly the next second, and his whole complexion changed drastically. Hastily took out Akamaru from her arms, and shook it gently several times before waking Akamaru up. After Akamaru woke up, he subconsciously glanced at Yi Shenyu who was smiling across the face, and let out a dull, woohoo, sound. Afterwards, Inazuka Tooth stared at Akamaru in a daze, his hair immediately stood up, and he struggled to stand up, his legs were so weak that he was about to run away. This was the first time Inazuka had seen him like this, he didn't understand what was going on at all, he tried to stroke Akamaru to calm him down, but it didn't work at all. You know, a dog's sixth sense is infinitely more sensitive than a human's. The conqueror's hockey released by Yi Shenyu cannot be resisted by a puppy, even a ninja dog cannot resist it. You bastard, what did you do to Akamaru? Seeing that his reassurance was ineffective, Inazuka ya couldn't help but turned his head and growled angrily at Yi Shenyu. However, when Inazuka turned his head, he suddenly discovered strangely that Yi Shenyu had disappeared. Boom. The next moment, Inazuka Ya's whole body flew upside down for more than 10 meters like a cannonball, and didn't stop until it hit the fence heavily. Inazuka grinned and covered the kicked abdomen, and then he looked at Yi Shenyu who suddenly appeared in front of him in shock. This guy's speed is too scary, right? When did it go around behind me just now, and when did it appear in front of me? Yi Shenyu knelt down, looked at the miserable Inazuka Ya, and threatened in a low voice. Inazuka Iba, if I find out that you report me or speak ill of me behind my back, I promise to stew Akamaru, believe it or not. Seeing Inazuka Ya's numb nod, Yi Shenyu stood up and looked back at Aruka with a smile. How about it, teacher Aruka, is this my victory? Ah, at this time, Aruka and everyone were in a daze. From the beginning to the end of Yi Shenyu's shock, everyone didn't see clearly what happened. Advertisement. I saw Yi Shenyu suddenly appearing behind Inazuka, and then abruptly in front of Inazuka more than 10 meters away. As for Yi Shenyu's movements, except for Sasuke who saw the traces vaguely, no one saw clearly. Aruka sighed to the monster secretly, and said loudly at random. Yi Shenyu wins, seal of reconciliation. Hearing the end of the game, everyone murmured softly. It's too scary, I didn't even see his actions just now. It's no wonder Mr. Aruka didn't say anything about his absenteeism. With this ability, he should be able to graduate directly, right? Now I seem to understand why Akamaru is afraid, because a dog's sixth sense is much sharper than a human's. It should have discovered Yi Shenyu's strength in advance, right? Who knows, it's ridiculously strong anyway, maybe even stronger than Sasuke in my opinion. Sasuke clenched his fists tightly, his eyes full of shock. This guy's speed is faster than before. Sasuke thought that he could close the gap in strength with Yi Shenyu through hard work, but now he is really depressed to find that the difference in strength between the two seems to be getting farther and farther. I can no longer keep up with the opponent's speed by relying on my eyes alone. If this hits me, wouldn't I be a sandbag? Naruto patted his chest proudly. See, this is my boss, isn't he amazing? Ino and Hinata looked at Yi Shenyu adoringly, their eyes were full of stars. The two who had decided the winner formed a seal of reconciliation and walked to the sidelines. Uruka announced the list of the next game with a smirk. Next game, Yi Shenyu vs. Hayuga Hinata, Yi Shenyu. Chapter 014, Fighting Against Hinata Open Black Lens Bracket Ask for Flowers. Ask for Collection, 4. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Don't think that Aruka is just called casually. In the first two months of school, if you want to say that there are excellent students in the class, except for Uchiha Sasuke, that is Hinata. Whether it is cultural knowledge, or the use of shuriken, kanai and physical skills, Hinata has shown his talent that shocked him. According to Aruka's estimation, if Hinata abandons her kindness and concentrates on fighting, she might even surpass Sasuke in strength. And Yi Shenyu, who had folded his hands and looked confident, couldn't help but be stunned. Boys, he almost showed them color, but girls. In particular, it was my future daughter-in-law who came up, so what should I do? Hearing Aruka's words, it took Hinata a long time to react. She lowered her head shyly and walked out slowly. From time to time, she raised her head to peek at Yi Shenyu, and then quickly lowered her head. In the end, no one knew how much courage she mustered. Not far from Yi Shenyu, he said timidly. Mr. Yi Shenyu, you, hello. Staring at the cute red face, Yi Shenyu's eyes sparkled slightly, then he nodded slightly and said. Hello, Hinata. Taking advantage of the courage he mustered, Hinata hurriedly continued. By the way, I haven't had time to thank you for what happened that day. It was thanks to you at that time. Ham, it's just a matter of little things. Seeing Hanada and Yi Shenyu whispering something, Ino in the distance felt a sour feeling inexplicably in his heart, and immediately pursed his mouth unhappily and said. Advertisement. HMPH, this bad guy will mess with flowers. Shikamaru on the side looked at Ino in surprise, and wanted to say something but was stared back by Ino's murderous eyes. The students on the side couldn't help but get up when they heard what the two said. Hanada looked at the curious eyes of everyone looking at him. Although he still had a lot to say, all his courage was exhausted. Seeing that Hinata didn't intend to give up, Aruka couldn't help but nodded in satisfaction. Hee hee, well, this is the end of the reminiscence session for you two little guys, let's start the nuclear test, are you all ready? I'm okay. Seeing Aruka's gaze swept over, Hinata hurriedly responded. I, me too. Aruka looked at the two and nodded, then waved to the students on the side, signaling everyone to go a little further. Okay, then the comprehensive exam, the second duel, Hayuga Hinata versus Yi Shenyu. Now, start. 
Uruka gave the order, and then looked at Yi Shenyu with a black line on his face. The guy still folded his arms, looking at Hinata with interest. Although Hinata reluctantly made a gentle fist gesture, her eyes were evasive and she didn't dare to look at the other party. Hey, headache. Uruka rubbed his head, and immediately didn't bother to say anything, let them go. Seeing Hinata like this, Yi Shenyu sighed helplessly, and after thinking about it, he could only use the aggressive method. Hinata, do you think I can remember you this way? Surprise me with your full strength. Advertisement. This sentence made Hinata feel like being struck by lightning, his whole body couldn't help shaking, and his brain became more sober. That's right, Mr. Yi Shenyu is so excellent, if I am too ordinary, how can I possibly attract his attention, and there are so many excellent girls. Thinking of this, Hinata subconsciously glanced at the dissatisfied Eno who was pouting in the distance. Mr. Yi Shenyu must not like cowardly girls, so I have to change myself. Be brave. Thinking of this, the tension in the face of Yi Shenyu disappeared instantly, and the timidity in his eyes disappeared, replaced by a look of determination. He he, this silly girl actually cares about me so much. Yi Shenyu didn't expect that his words could change Hinata so much, and couldn't help but raise the corners of his mouth. Mr. Yi Shenyu, please be careful, I will do my best. Hinata looked up at the wage meteorite seriously, and then formed a seal of opposition, skillfully posing the gentle fist gesture of the Hyuga clan. Seeing this, Yi Shenyu formed a seal of opposition, and put on a posture, silently waiting for Hinata's attack. The next moment, Hinata's eyes changed slightly, and he suddenly took a step forward, rushing towards Yi Shenyu at an extremely fast speed. This instant speed scared everyone including Sasuke. Oh my god, this speed, although it's not as good as Yi Shenyu's, is it too outrageous? Why do I feel that it seems to be a little faster than Sasuke? That's not true, but it's about the same. Awesome, I didn't expect that quiet Hinata to be so strong, but unfortunately the opponent he faced was a monster level existence. But in the blink of an eye, Hinata's attack was in front of Yi Shenyu. Her attack speed was fast and accurate, and she used gentle fist, which was quite threatening. Advertisement. But the so-called threat is for other people. For Yi Shenyu, who is partially elemental, there are not many tricks in this world that can hurt him. After dodging Hinata's attack three times in a row, the smile on Yi Shenyu's face increased. It seems that Hinata is not as weak as she imagined, on the contrary, she is still very strong. The reason why he was bullied by those three children was because he was too kind and couldn't bear to make a move. In order for Yi Shenyu to remember himself, Hinata broke out completely, and the continuous attack lasted for more than ten seconds. During this time, Hinata launched dozens of attacks towards Yi Shenyu. Seeing Hinata's astonishing offensive, the melon eaters on the side couldn't help gasping, and even Sasuke's complexion became serious. It's just that the ending of this match will not change in any way, the reason is as some classmates said, her opponent is really a monster. From the beginning to the end, the expression on Yi Shenyu's face did not change at all. Facing Hinata's attack, he dodged it more easily than Aruka imagined. This kid is really a monster. With his strength, it really doesn't make sense to stay in the ninja school. It's better to let him do what he wants. Looking at Yi Shenyu's strength, Aruka instantly understood Third Hokage's intentions, and looked at Yi Shenyu with some envy, not knowing what was going on in his heart. Soon, Hinata's stormy attack made her physically exhausted. In her eyes, the attack stagnated for a moment. EMMM, this should be the limit of Hinata. Yi Shenyu's eyes moved slightly, and he leaned a little sideways to avoid Hinata's attack. He quickly grabbed Hinata's left hand with one hand, and pulled Hinata into his arms with a light movement. Yi Shenyu lightly tapped Hinata's tender neck with the other hand, and Hinata's whole body went limp, losing the ability to resist. Seeing that Yi Shenyu, subdued, Hinata, Aruka next to him immediately shouted. Yi Shenyu wins, seal of reconciliation. Chapter 015 Uchiha Itachi's fear open black lens bracket ask for flowers. Ask for collection. Close black lens bracket. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Hearing what Aruka said, all the students outside the venue were silent for a while, and then broke out. That guy Yi Shenyu is really ridiculously strong. Can he dodge such a dense attack just now? And it can be seen that he doesn't seem to be doing his best, scary guy. It's just that I didn't expect a shy girl like Hinata to be so powerful. The most unbelievable thing is that no matter against Inazuka or Hinata, both times he ended the battle with one move. How strong is he really? Quote dot 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 quote. The onlookers watched with emotion, and then they understood why Yi Shenyu skipped class and Aruka didn't care. This strength, even in school is a waste of time, right? Sorry, I didn't hurt you, did I? Yi Shenyu knelt down and looked at Hinata with concern. Hinata raised her head weakly, and when she saw Yi Shenyu's deep eyes, her face turned red, and she whispered. I, I'm fine, advertisement. Seeing Yi Shenyu's outstretched palm, Hinata didn't dare to grab it, and hurriedly got up from the ground, and ran back into the crowd as if fleeing. After Hinata took her place, she subconsciously looked at Yi Shenyu, her heart filled with admiration. As expected, Mr. Yi Shenyu, I am no match at all. In fact, Hinata's real strength is very strong, and the strength she just got serious about just now is definitely not her opponent among few people. Of course, Yi Shenyu is a perfect accident, this guy conquers hockey plus sparkling fruit, it would be strange if Hinata can beat it. Aruka looked at Yi Shenyu standing on it carelessly, looked at himself with a smile on his face, and suddenly blushed, and felt embarrassed to arrange an opponent for Yi Shenyu. Aruka can naturally see that Yi Shenyu's strength far exceeds that of his peers. If Sasuke is allowed to play at this time, I am afraid that it will be of no use except to dampen Sasuke's self-confidence. We have to let Yi Shenyu come down and start the duel with the rest of the students normally. At the same time, on the roof in the distance, Uchiha Itachi three Tomo Sharingan quickly disappeared, looking thoughtfully at Yi Shenyu in the distance. When fighting against the members of the Inazuka family, it seems that Injutsu was used, and the speed was unexpectedly fast. 
When fighting against Hayuga's girl, it seemed easy to dodge, but it would be difficult for Sasuke to catch up with this little guy in a short time. The next day, after Yi Shenyu was woken up by Ino, she dragged her to school. After eating the breakfast brought by Ino in a daze, Yi Shenyu lay down on the table and continued to dream of his big spring and autumn dreams. Uruka has arranged exams for the past few days, and after the comprehensive exam, there will be a separate exam. Advertisement. For example, three-body technique, shuriken throwing technique, kanai melee combat, etc., are all assessed one by one. After all, Yi Shenyu will be absent from school all the year round, in order to keep a low profile and try to make herself not so outstanding. After that, all the examination results were passed in the middle of the test. Uruka turned a blind eye to this. The past few days are all exam time. After the gymnastics training, there will be the three-body technique assessment. Three-body technique is different from taijutsu, shuriken throwing, and kanai melee combat. It does not need to go to the practice field, but only needs to be carried out in the class. This time Yi Shenyu saw that Aruka didn't explain anything, so he passed the test with a mediocre result. Due to Yi Shenyu's low profile, Sasuke naturally won the top student without any dispute. However, apart from the female fans who blindly worship Sasuke, people with a discerning eye can naturally see that Yi Shenyu is deliberately releasing water. For this reason, Sasuke was hit hard, and he quarreled when he went home, which made Uchiha Itachi train himself specially. These naturally have nothing to do with Yi Shenyu. The day after the assessment, Yi Shenyu started his salted fish life again. Sleeping late, fishing, eating and drinking, disappeared from the public eye again. To Aruka's headache, Naruto, Choji, Shikamaru and Ino were absent from school along with Yi Shenyu. Regarding the future heirs of several big families, it is not that Aruka has not asked Luju and others to respond, but Luju seems to have his own ideas. Advertisement. The few people didn't interfere too much with the truancy behavior of these little guys, but pretended to be ignorant of anything. After sending Aruka away, Luju stroked his goatee thoughtfully. Super rare blood successor limit who can control the light element, such a guy is worthy of close friendship, good vision, Shikamaru. Facts have proved that Luju thought too much, and Shikamaru simply thought that he had found a bosom friend. At this time, there were three more reclining chairs of different styles beside the lake behind the mountain. Choji and Naruto were snoring on the deck chair, while Shikamaru was enjoying fishing on the deck chair, as if he had found his purpose in life. Yi Shenyu looked at Ino who was sitting with her speechlessly. Shikamaru, they all bought new recliners, why didn't you buy them? Ino's face flushed slightly, I, I have no money. No money, Yi Shenyu scratched his head, but when he saw Ino's little red face, he understood everything instantly. In the next second, a certain person was fishing with one hand and holding a sweet little lowly with the other, and started to take a lunch break. This is life. Chapter 016. The sorrow of the Uchiha clan open black lens bracket ask for flowers. Ask for collection. Close black lens bracket. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. At the same time, Sasuke, who was greatly shocked, walked back home with a depressed face. Back home, Sasuke habitually went to look for his big brother Uchiha Itachi, but soon he found that his brother had disappeared and seemed not at home. Just here, Shiyu Zibo Fugaku passed by, looked at Sasuke and stopped and asked. Sasuke is out of school. Sasuke nodded and walked over. Yes, dad, where did the big brother go? Uchiha Fugaku I Micron, random soon back to normal. He should have a mission and left temporarily. After finishing the words, Uchiha Fugaku knelt down and looked at the depressed Sasuke, with a smile on his cold face. What's the matter, Sasuke, but is there anything unhappy? Sasuke didn't realize that today's Fugaku was different, but scratched his head and couldn't help muttering. It's nothing, it's just that I have trained hard enough, but I can't beat a student in the class, so I hope the big brother can give me special training, or teach me a little ninjutsu. Oh, Uchiha Fugaku's eyes dimmed slightly, and the lonely expression on his face disappeared for a moment. Advertisement. Parents who don't want their child to be a genius, it's hard not to be disappointed when they hear that Sasuke is not the first in the class. But after all, everyone cannot be as excellent as Uchiha Itachi, after all, the other party has experienced the cruelty of war at a very young age. Only between life and death can a person's potential be developed to the greatest extent. Shaking his head, maybe he felt that there would be some misfortune in the future. Now Uchiha Fugaku is surprisingly concerned about Sasuke, not at all indifferent as usual. Sasuke, how are you doing with your shuriken and kanai? Listening to dad asking about this, Sasuke looked proud. EMMM, I am the number one in the class for the shuriken and kanai exams, and I am also the head student in our class. Hee <laughs> hee, as expected of my son. Uchiha Fugaku uncommon patted Sasuke on the shoulder, nodded and said. When your big brother comes back, I'll ask him to teach you fire style great fireball technique, how about trying to let you beat your classmates? Wow, really, Sasuke's eyes brightened a lot when he heard this, and he looked at Uchiha Fugaku expectantly. Of course it's true, it's a reward for your two firsts, and the status of chief student. Very good, Sasuke was very happy when he heard the words, and ran back to his room with a cheer, and began to look forward to defeating Yi Shenyu after he knew ninjutsu. Advertisement. Why, watching Sasuke leave, Uchiha Fugaku sighed silently, feeling very complicated. Uchiha Makoto did not know when he came to Fugaku's side, took his arm, and asked with a gloomy expression. Now, are we really irreparable? It looks like this. During the Nine Tails Rebellion a few years ago, Nine Tails fell under the illusion of the Uchiha clan. This has never been explained. The relationship between the two parties has become more and more tense over the years. The most troublesome thing is the mysterious organization hidden in the dark, and the person who said he is Uchiha Madara, plus the radicals in the clan, the situation is not very good. Hearing Fugaku say this, Makoto was silent for a moment. That is to say, if the worst outcome is likely to be. Okay, 
Don't talk about it. Let's take one step at a time. I will let our children live no matter what. The two walked back to the house with a lot of worries. Uchiha Fugaku had a headache. Konoha's defense against them is getting stronger day by day. Even if he wants to leave at this time, he may not be able to leave. On the surface, Konoha asked Uchiha Itachi to go to Anbu, but in fact it also meant to take him as a hostage. Coupled with the strength of Danzo and Serutobi, as well as other major families, even if they choose to fight at this time, there is not much chance of winning. Moreover, according to Danzo's means, he will inevitably find a way to kill Sasuke and Itachi, which he cannot accept. Even if the Uchiha clan were lucky enough to draw a draw, where would they go to settle down, the other four major powers would not be staring at them for a while. Advertisement. Moreover, many radicals in the clan did not order at all. If the Uchiha clan took the initiative to start a war, the greatest probability would be that they would be wiped out. Perhaps, something should be done for the future of the Uchiha clan. Uchiha Fugaku frowned, hesitated for a moment and finally made up his mind, turned around and disappeared. Makoto watched her husband leave, sitting on the ground in a daze. Will the two big families that once made the entire ninja world tremble, finally go to extinction like this? The Senju family has disappeared in the long river of history, and only Mew Mew can be seen. Is it the turn of the Uchiha family now? Dot dot dot. For all of this, Yi Shenyu still hangs his fish leisurely, and occasionally builds his imaginary house with Naruto by the lake for a little bit of energy. For the upcoming Uchiha genocide event, what if he knows? Isn't it exciting to participate in a battle with a group of cage-level powerhouses who are less than Jonin's strength? And the relationship between Yi Shenyu and Sasuke has not reached that level yet, he should just live his salty fish life honestly. Before there is no strength, everything is empty. At this time, Yi Shenyu suddenly felt the 10,000 realms fishing rod tremble, and then a strong force came, almost dragging him into the water suddenly. Damn it, here comes the big guy. 8%. Chapter 017 Eat Beef Tonight Flowers. Ask for collection. Close black lens bracket. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. The next moment, Yi Shenyu gathered the chakra in his whole body in his arm, and then instilled chakra on the 10,000 realms fishing rod. With a hard pull, a huge monster appeared in the sight of several people. This is an extremely strong big cow, exuding a powerful aura all over his body. He turned over and landed on the side of the lake, looking at the little guys very violently. At the same time, the information of the monster in front of Yi Shenyu automatically appeared in Yi Shenyu's mind. The Cretan Bull, a fourth-level monster in the magical world, is compatible with the fire attribute, and can cast powerful fire magic, which has a high degree of danger. Seeing this message, Yi Shenyu immediately stood up and stood in front of Ino. You and Shikamaru go and watch from the sidelines, it's fine with me and Naruto here. Huh, but, come on, don't you believe me? Seeing the confident smile on Yi Shenyu's face, Ino nodded and said, be careful, and hit aside with Shikamaru randomly. Naruto looked at the behemoth in front of him, subconsciously took out Kanai from behind. What is this? Why have I never seen it before? Can this kind of thing still fall out of this lake? Looking at the Cretan bull with faint flames from its nose, Naruto felt a little dizzy. Shikamaru, who hid in the jungle, looked at the Cretan bull seriously, and said thoughtfully. This should be some kind of powerful summoning beast, right? It doesn't look too easy to mess with. Can that guy do it? Advertisement. I believe in him, it will be fine. Seeing what Ino said, Shikamaru, who wanted to help, immediately gave up the idea of helping. At this time, Yi Shenyu in the arena looked at the Crete bulls, his eyes became excited. It's been a long time since I came to this world, I really can eat whatever I want. Yi Shenyu glanced at the Cretan bull, pointed to Naruto and said. Naruto, go and see if you can beat this guy. Huh, I'm going. Naruto looked at the Cretan bull with a guilty conscience, and after getting Yi Shenyu's affirmative answer, he gritted his teeth and rushed up. You know, Naruto is only seven years old now, and he doesn't know any ninjutsu. Although Yi Shenyu has taught him a little taijutsu, how could he be the opponent of Crete bull? In just 30 seconds, Naruto was kicked away by the Cretan bull. However, with Nine Tails Chakra's imperceptible restoration, Yi Shenyu was not worried about his life safety. Hum, does this guy seem to have the strength of an elite shunin? Just when Yi Shenyu looked at the Cretan bull curiously, the other party suddenly opened his mouth, and a one-meter fireball flew towards him. As this fire style, advertisement, Shikamaru hid aside to watch the battle, and saw a huge fireball flying towards Yi Shenyu, but Yi Shenyu didn't respond to it, Ino anxiously reminded loudly. Yi Shenyu, be careful. Boom. The next moment, the fireball exploded suddenly, and countless flames engulfed Yi Shenyu. Ino and the other stared in shock, they didn't see any sign of Yi Shenyu avoiding, that is to say. A few seconds later, the dust settled, and Ino and the others looked at Yi Shenyu, who was unharmed, in a daze. What's the situation? Choji took a bite of the potato chips, puzzled. Both Shikamaru and Ino couldn't understand what was going on. It stands to reason that the fire style just now was quite powerful, even if Jonin got hit, it would be impossible for him to be unscathed, right? Yi Shenyu nodded secretly in the field, sparkling fruit is really powerful, transforming the body into a combination of light elements, commons ninjutsu or magic can't hurt him at all. Well, let's see how much the attack has increased recently. Thinking of this, Yi Shenyu raised his right hand, and then there was a golden flash in the field. The next moment, more than a dozen golden flashes shot out from Yi Shenyu's index finger, and before the Crete bull had time to react, it had already penetrated heavily into its body. Advertisement. Mew. The Crete bull screamed. These lasers hit several vital points of its body. At this time, he had been severely injured, and his huge body couldn't help shaking violently. It seems that the power is not bad. Yi Shenyu nodded, holding his right hand falsely, and instantly formed a light blade one and a half feet long, and then disappeared. 
The next moment, Yi Shenyu suddenly appeared in front of the Creed Bull, kicked him heavily to the ground and knocked him down on his knees, then raised his knife and dropped it. The world was clean. The few people in the distance looked dumbfounded. From Yi Shenyu's counterattack to the Cretan Bull being beheaded, the whole process did not take more than three seconds. Isn't this guy too strong? The way Shikamaru looked at Yi Shenyu changed directly, and he realized for the first time that Yi Shenyu was so powerful. And he couldn't understand many of the moves just now, he just felt that everything was over in a blink of an eye. Yi Shenyu stood in front of the Cretan Bull, his eyes shining brightly. This guy, even in the wizarding world, is not a bad ingredient, right? It looks delicious. Thinking of this, Yi Shenyu turned his head and greeted Naruto. Naruto, work, let's eat beef tonight. Chapter 018 This beef is good, ask for flowers. Ask for collection. Close black lens bracket. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. After hearing Yi Shenyu's shout, Naruto came over in a bit of a panic. The Cretan bull kicked directly on Naruto's body, and Naruto immediately flew upside down and hit the ground heavily, his body was still a little bit pained, but now he has fully recovered. Of course, Naruto didn't notice these things, all his attention is now on Yi Shenyu. He knew the strength of the Cretan bull himself, but he didn't expect Yi Shenyu to deal with it so easily. He looked at Yi Shenyu with admiration. My god, this big bull is so strong. I'm afraid Jonin will be difficult to deal with. The boss is so easy to deal with. Yi Shenyu shook his head with a smile. Although the strength of the Cretan bull is good, the ability of his sparkling fruit is obviously even more buggy. Moreover, the strength of this Cretan bull is actually only as strong as that of Chunin, so it is naturally extremely easy to deal with it by yourself. Then, Yi Shenyu opened his right hand slightly, and after rays of light condensed, they turned into a golden dagger. The next moment, Yi Shenyu neatly peeled off the skin of the dead cow, and divided the meat into several pieces. Basically, it is ready to eat after roasting and adding a little seasoning. Choji saw that the beef had already been divided. Although it was not cooked yet, relying on his culinary instinct, he felt that the taste of beef must be extremely delicious. Thinking of this, the corners of his mouth couldn't help but saliva dripped down. Looking at the strong muscles of this cow, the taste must be very good. Everyone nodded. Although they were not as greedy as Choji, they also knew that the taste of beef like this must be the same. Naruto directly set up the grill, skewered the beef, hung it on the grill, and started grilling it skillfully. Seeing Naruto start to work, everyone gathered around, their eyes seemed to burst out. And Yi Shenyu stretched himself, then walked to the side of the river and washed the blood on his hands with the river water. Advertisement. Suddenly, he raised his head slightly and looked at a bush on the other side of the river. Inside the shrubs, trees grow wildly, and almost nothing can be seen. Uchiha Fugaku. Yi Shenyu squinted slightly, here peeking at us. What does he want to do? Observation Haki of Yi Shenyu was keenly aware of the situation on the other side of the river. Uchiha Fugaku was hiding in a bush, watching them secretly. Uchiha Fugaku Yi Shenyu is naturally familiar with it. He thinks that the Uchiha clan will be exterminated soon. But this has nothing to do with me. I am not familiar with Uchiha Sasuke, and I don't have much strength now. There is no need to stand in muddy water. But Uchiha Fugaku was peeking at himself now, which made Yi Shenyu very uncomfortable. Yi Shenyu washed her hands, snorted coldly, stood up and walked back to the grill. Anyway, this Uchiha Fugaku won't live for a few more days, so let him watch it if he likes it. At this time, it is more important to eat beef. Dot dot dot. Across the river, among the bushes. Uchiha Fugaku has tried his best to hide his aura, hiding in it. Almost no one can easily capture his figure. But now, he was a little flustered, with cold sweat on his face. Uchiha Fugaku did not expect that this Yi Shenyu was so weird. He also saw the Cretan bull just now. Although he didn't know the real strength of this bull, he knew from his feeling that the strength of this bull was extraordinary, at least having the strength above Chunin. Advertisement. But even so, this Yi Shenyu killed the Cretan bull so easily. Its methods are so weird and unpredictable that even Uchiha Fugaku can't tell what kind of ninjutsu it is. You know, the current Yi Shenyu has not graduated from ninja school yet. Not even Genin. More importantly, when he washed his hands, he was still looking at himself. As the patriarch of the Uchiha clan, Uchiha Fugaku's strength can be imagined. When he is in disguise, almost no one can easily find him. But this Yi Shenyu saw herself so easily and easily. At this moment, Uchiha Fugaku even activated Sharingan directly, staring at Yi Shenyu's direction. If you want the Uchiha clan to regain its former glory, this child must be used. He said coldly, if you don't follow Uchiha's guidance, you can only eradicate this threat. But Yi Shenyu still didn't know that he had already been targeted by the Uchiha boss. At this moment, he looked at the beef in front of him, waiting for when it would be cooked. The little friends on the side are all gearing up and almost can't wait. After a long time, Yi Shenyu looked at the meat color, took a piece and stuffed it into his mouth first, then said with a smile on his face. The meat is cooked, let's start. Afterwards, everyone took out kanai one after another and began to cut the meat. Choji couldn't wait a long time ago, so he picked up a bone right now, blew on it, and started to gnaw on the meat on it. After two mouthfuls, Choji muttered with enjoyment. It's delicious. I've never eaten such delicious meat before. Not only is it chewy, but it's also plump and juicy, um. Smelling the aroma of beef, Eno couldn't bear it any longer. At this moment, he carefully took a piece of meat and wanted to put it in his mouth, but he was afraid it would be hot. Advertisement. She raised her head and looked at Yi Shenyu pitifully. Yi Shenyu felt Eno's eyes, and asked curiously. Eno, what's the matter? Isn't this meat delicious? Hot, Eno said timidly. Yi Shenyu smiled, took the meat from Eno's hand, blew on it, and then said softly, it's not hot now, you can try it. Eno's heart tightened, then he poked his head over and swallowed it in one gulp. 
The fatness of the beef and the deep sense of happiness brought by Yi Shen Yu's huge size just now made Eno's face flushed, and he didn't know how to thank him for a while, he gritted his teeth, and then quickly moved up. Mwa. After Yi Shen Yu reacted, he found that Eno was happily eating beef with a red face and lowered head. Yi Shen Yu shook her head helplessly. This silly girl. At this time, the quiet lake was filled with the sound of several people gnawing meat. Several people kept stuffing the meat into their mouths. While Yi Shen Yu was eating beef comfortably, he looked happily at the information displayed by the Wanji knowledge chip. Host's chakra plus 130 detected. It is detected that the physical fitness of the host is plus 130. Sparkling fruit power plus 130 detected. Percent. Chapter 019 Meet the father-in-law open black lens bracket subscribe. Ask for automatic. Close black lens bracket. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. After Yi Shen Yu fought hard, he burped contentedly. Looking at the content displayed by the Wanji knowledge chip, I can't help but feel good. Yi Shen Yu guessed that eating Cretan bull meat could increase his attributes, but he didn't expect that it could be enhanced so much. He could clearly feel his body trembling slightly, and the chakra in his body also had a considerable increase. But looking at the beef piled up like a hill, Yi Shen Yu couldn't help but frown slightly. Even if the few of us are foodies, it is impossible for such a big cow to finish it. I can't eat any more, I really can't eat this time. Cho Ji on the side looked at the beef with a wry smile. Although he still wanted to eat it psychologically, he couldn't put it in his stomach anymore. As a member of the Choji family, he eats food all the time to replenish his energy, and this is the first time he can't eat anything like this now. Shikamaru had already finished eating, and was leaning against the big tree by the lake at this time, frowning and rubbing his stomach. As for Eno, he couldn't eat anymore. After all, girls have small appetites. After he was full, he silently poured a glass of spring water for Yi Shenyu and handed it to Yi Shenyu from time to time. Among the crowd, celebrities ate the most. Looking at this guy's belly, Yi Shenyu wondered if it would burst. At this time, Naruto was lying on the ground in large characters, enjoying the aftertaste on his face, and muttering from time to time. Hmm, next time try putting this kind of beef in Ichiraku ramen, wow, it's delicious just thinking about it. Yi Shen Yu glanced at the satisfied crowd, and returned to the reclining chair with some difficulty while supporting her waist. It seems that with the 10,000 realms fishing rod, the days to come will become more interesting. I don't know what I will catch next time. After resting for half an hour, everyone finally regained their strength. Looking at the pile of beef, their eyes lit up in the middle of the night. Advertisement. There's still a lot of beef left, why don't you make it into beef jerky? Naruto wondered, beef jerky? How to do it? Ino also widened her eyes curiously, and she had never seen anyone making beef jerky. Yi Shenyu chuckled and said, come here and help me, just follow my instructions. Afterwards, everyone followed Yi Shenyu's instructions, Choji cut the meat, Naruto peeled the skin, Ino prepared the seasoning, and even Shikamaru helped. When everyone was busy, Yi Shenyu sprinkled seasoning on the beef jerky, put it on the stone aside, and waited for it to dry. Just let it dry overnight. Yi Shenyu nodded in satisfaction. Boss is amazing, he can do anything. Naruto sighed, now he doesn't have much pocket money a month, and he hardly eats any meat. Now that he keeps up with Yi Shenyu, he can still eat this kind of top quality beef, which was unimaginable before. Yi Shenyu looked at his masterpiece with satisfaction, but in fact he was just taking pictures of cats and tigers as he remembered. Have you never eaten pork or seen a pig running? Afterwards, Yi Shenyu arranged for Naruto to sit aside and watch the meat so as not to be eaten by some small animals. After all, this Cretan beef is not ordinary beef. It has extremely high nutritional value. The key is to eat it. I don't know if it will be available next time, so someone must watch it. For a foodie like Yi Shenyu, it is completely unacceptable if the beef is eaten by small animals or stolen. As for Naruto's self-stealing, Yi Shenyu doesn't care, so much beef, even if Naruto is allowed to eat it, how much can he eat? At noon the next day, Yi Shenyu stretched and finally got up from the bed. I habitually came to the lake, took out the Yushian Maojian I caught before from my arms, took the boiled water that Naruto had prepared, and took out the handmade purple sand pot of Master Guogong, and someone's day of salting fish began. A few minutes later, Yi Shenyu lay on the chair, blowing the hot air from the tea, took a leisurely sip, and then tasted the beef jerky that Naruto handed over. Advertisement. Well, this one still tastes good, and it's very chewy, well done, Naruto, go take a good rest. With Yi Shenyu's affirmation, Naruto nodded excitedly, lay down on the couch next to him and fell asleep quickly. This guy had been busy last night and hardly slept much. Not only did he have to guard against small animals, but he also had to guard against some foodies. For example, Choji came to steal food in the middle of the night, but was beaten back by Naruto. Yi Shenyu looked at the beef jerky on the side shelf, and with a wave of his hand, all the beef jerky disappeared instantly. But Yi Shenyu put them all into the 10,000 realms fish sack. With the improvement of Yi Shenyu chakra, besides providing bait, Wanji fish capsule also provides an independent space, and the space inside is quite large, and the temperature is relatively low, in a vacuum state. This is simply a refrigerator tailor made for Yi Shenyu, and it is only appropriate to put beef jerky in it. After a few hours of salting fish by the lake, Yi Shenyu thought about it and walked towards the Hyuga clan. As soon as he walked to the door, he happened to see Hanada walking out. Hayuga Hanada lowered his head as if he was worried, and walked straight forward. Yi Shenyu was about to say hello, but found that the little girl had bumped into her arms in a foolish way. Ah, Hanada was startled, and just about to raise her head to say sorry, she saw that she bumped into Yi Shenyu. Feeling the sense of security emanating from Yi Shenyu, Hanada's strength suddenly disappeared, and then her feet went limp and she almost fell. Seeing this, Yi Shenyu hurriedly supported her, and helplessly rubbed Xiaonizi's head. In a panic, be careful in the future. Ah, it's. Hanada blushed, looked aside shyly, looked at Yi Shenyu curiously and said. 
Advertisement. Mr. Yi Shenyu, why are you here? Yi Shenyu smiled slightly, and took out the beef jerky that he had already prepared for Hanada. At this time, the beef jerky had already been wrapped in paper by Yi Shenyu, and the amount was more than three caddies, and it was handed over to Hayuga Hanada. This is, Hayuga Hanada carefully opened the paper and found that it was full of jerky. This is the new beef jerky I made yesterday. It tastes pretty good, mainly for nutritional supplements. I heard that you have been practicing very hard recently, so you can't go hungry. Feeling Yi Shenyu's concern, Hanada timidly said after accepting the jerky. Thank you Mr. Yi Shenyu. Okay, you're welcome, you can try it now to see if the talisman suits your taste. Hanada nodded, and lightly bit a piece, her little face was full of surprise. This tastes delicious. Hanada looked very surprised, looking at the jerky in his hand, couldn't help but took another two big bites. Hee hee, you silly girl eats like this, why don't you invite me in? Little Hanada was ashamed when she heard the words, and whispered. Hold, sorry, this beef jerky is so delicious, then Mr. Yi Shenyu go to my place to have a look. Yi Shenyu nodded, followed Hanada honestly and walked towards Hayuga's house. He came today to see Hanada, and if possible, he would meet his future father-in-law. 10%. Chapter 020 Meet Father-in-Law and Sister-in-Law for the First Time Ask for Collection. Close Black Lens Bracket. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Following Little Hanada to her room, Yi Shenyu couldn't help feeling envious when she saw the neat and tidy facilities in the house. This is the difference between having parents and not having parents. Compared with Hanada, my room is nothing to say. Hanada didn't stop talking along the way, chewing a piece of beef jerky in his mouth, and after putting away the others, he hurried to give Yi Shenyu a glass of water. The atmosphere in the room was a bit dull, mainly because Hanada was introverted, and Yi Shenyu couldn't tease her too much. I was really afraid that Hanada fainted by accident, and Hayuga Hiyashi saw it when he fell, and I was afraid that I would not be able to explain it clearly. Huh, little Hanada looked at Yi Shenyu suspiciously after eyeing the beef jerky in his mouth. Why does my body feel a little trembling, and? Hanada looked at her white and tender arms, and murmured. It feels like the strength of the body has improved. Hee hee, you can try how your skills are now, come on, attack like last time and see. Okay, then let's go to the practice room, where the venue is big. After the words fell, under the leadership of Hanada, the two quickly came to the practice room. Watching Yi Shenyu stand still in the distance, Hanada hit gentle fist casually a few times first, and was pleasantly surprised to find that her speed and strength had improved. Feeling that his strength has improved, Hanada looked at Yi Shenyu and said. Then Yi Shenyu, be careful. After the words fell, Hanada attacked Yi Shenyu. She wanted Yi Shenyu's approval so much, so she didn't hide the slightest bit of clumsiness when she shot. There was a burst of fighting sounds in the practice room, which made the passing Hayuga Hiyashi and Hayuga Hanabi stop. It's so early, who is practicing, let's go, Hanabi will follow me to see. Okay. Father. Advertisement. The father and daughter walked quickly outside the practice room and looked inside cautiously. The next scene shocked the two of them. I saw that in the practice room was Hayuga Hanada, who had been given up by Hayuga Hiyashi. Ever since Hanada was defeated by her younger sister Hanabi, Hayuga Hiyashi has given up on this overly kind eldest daughter. Looking at it today, Hanada's strength is very different from the last time he played against Hanabi. Little Hanabi opened her mouth in shock, recalling the scene of the last battle, watching her sister's shot, she couldn't help but wonder if her sister let go of the water before. And what shocked Hiyashi and Hanabi even more was Hanada's opponent, who was a boy with a special appearance, and he was very temperamental. The boy seemed to be able to handle Hanada's attack with ease. What Hiyashi and Hanabi couldn't accept most was that the opponent's hands were behind his back, which was extremely relaxed, and it was not a shortcoming of Hanada's attack. Is this the funny kid that Lord Third Generation said? Hayuga Hiyashi narrowed his eyes slightly, and walked into the practice room with Hanabi randomly. Then Yi Shenyu saw her father-in-law and sister-in-law for the first time. Hanada also stopped attacking immediately, turned her head and said timidly. Father, Sister Hanabi, that's right, I didn't expect your strength to grow so much. Who is this, Hanada, won't you introduce me? Listening to Hayuga Hiyashi's words, Hanada was stunned. For the first time in her life, she heard her father's recognition of herself. However, Hanada quickly reacted and hurriedly introduced. Father, this is my classmate Yi Shenyu, I brought him to our house. Hayuga Hiyashi nodded, looked at Yi Shenyu with interest and said. Oh, are you the truant king in legendary? Ahem. Yi Shenyu didn't expect the serious Hayuga Hiyashi to joke, and scratched his head in embarrassment. Ham, it's all just a false name. By the way, it's the first time I saw you, ahem, it's the head of the Hayuga clan. This is a small gift, please accept it. After saying that, Yi Shenyu pulled out two packs of beef jerky from his arms like a conjuring, handed one pack to Hiyashi and the other pack to Hayuga Hanabi. Advertisement. Hee <laughs> hee, interesting little guy. Hiyashi is very interested in Yi Shenyu, but what he is more curious about now is how far Hanada's strength has reached. Hanada, let father see how you have learned during the time you were in ninja school. Seeing that his father was going to compete with him, Hanada subconsciously looked at Yi Shenyu. After receiving the encouraging eyes from the other party, Hanada felt more at ease inexplicably. Okay, my lord father. Hanada and Hayuga Hiyashi stood in the arena. After the two saluted, Hayuga Hiyashi punched out. This punch was extremely fast. Although Hayuga Hiyashi obviously didn't use much real strength, it was hard for the ordinary genin to resist. But in Hanada's eyes, the fear had long since disappeared, replaced by a look of determination. The next moment, before Hiyashi's attack came, Hanada leaned slightly to the side and narrowly escaped. After dodging with a punch, Hanada took the opportunity to counter with a blow from Gentle Fist, which hit Hayuga Hiyashi directly. Hayuga Hiyashi snorted, his body shook slightly, his eyes were full of horror. And Hanabi on the side was also taken aback. Sister. 
Hyuga Hanabi swallowed her saliva and said in surprise, she escaped the attack of my father. But Hinata thought he had caused trouble, so he hurriedly stood in front of Hyuga Hiyashi, and said timidly, Father, I'm sorry. She thought she had hurt Hyuga Hiyashi, but in fact, how could Hyuga Hiyashi be hurt by such a punch? He was just surprised, surprised by Hinata's speed and the strength of this punch. Hinata's strength has reached the level of an ordinary genin. Thinking of this, Hyuga Hiyashi touched Hinata's head with a peaceful smile on his face. It seems that in the ninja school, your cultivation is also very hard. Not bad, keep working hard. Hanabi on the side is inevitably a little disappointed. My lord, I am afraid that I am no longer your opponent. Hanada touched Hanabi's head affectionately, and said with a smile. Advertisement. Little Hanabi, your talent is very good. If you work hard, you will definitely surpass your sister. Seeing Hanada always subconsciously look at Yi Shenyu, Hayuga Hiyashi was thoughtful. Yi Shenyu secretly gave Hanada a thumbs up, and the next plot may go according to his imagination. Sure enough, Hayuga Hiyashi thought it over and said. It seems that you have worked very hard in the ninja school. In this case, I will not ask about your practice in the future, but I will test your strength from time to time. If you are not satisfied, I will train you personally. Seeing Hanada looking at him nervously, Hiyashi smiled slightly. Okay, as a reward for your strength growth, I won't ask about your practice in the future. Someone should be more concerned. Do you think I'm right? Yi Shenyu. Ah, Yi Shenyu scratched her head feigning embarrassment. You, cough cough, don't worry, uncle, I will do my best to protect. No, it's the one who trained Hanada. Father-in-law, protect. Hayuga Hiyashi didn't know what Yi Shenyu meant, the corner of his mouth twitched, he waved his hand and said. Before I change my mind, disappear from my sight. Hey, okay. After saying that, Yi Shenyu pulled Hanada's little hand, and soon disappeared from Hayuga Hiyashi's eyes. Damn brat, you're not likable at all. Hayuga Hiyashi looked at Yi Shenyu's back with hatred, and gritted his teeth angrily, while Hanabi curiously opened the package of beef jerky, then picked up a piece of beef jerky and put it in his mouth. Wow, father, Yi Shenyu sent this food, it's delicious. Ah, really, Hayuga Hiyashi took a piece suspiciously and stuffed it into his mouth, and then his eyes were full of shock. This thing can actually strengthen physical fitness. Percent. O21 can you get shot while lying down? Ask for flowers. Ask for collection. Close black lens bracket. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Time flies, and several months have passed in a blink of an eye. In the past period of time, Yi Shenyu still lived her happy life of salted fish, fishing, sleeping, eating and eating barbecue to flirt with girls. And since leaving Hayuga's house that time, Hanada was also fooled by Yi Shenyu into the absenteeism brigade. Hiyashi saw Yi Shenyu's potential, especially when he later learned that Yi Shenyu's improvement in Hanada's strength was related to Yi Shenyu, coupled with the magical beef jerky, he simply didn't bother to care about Hanada. This night, Uchiha Fugaku came to a hidden place in the village, waiting quietly for something. Oh, come out when you come, there's no need to hide, right? After Uchiha Fugaku finished speaking, a figure with crutches and half-covered eyes appeared in the darkness. It was Danzo. Seeing Danzo's strange shape, Uchiha Fugaku's eyes froze slightly. Danzo. Uchiha Fugaku said, what did you come to me for? Danzo smiled slightly, and there was a trace of killing intent in his eyes, which was fleeting. I know what you Uchiha clan is planning, and I hope you don't do stupid things. Danzo said slowly. What is the result of that, I think you should know. Uchiha Fugaku's face changed suddenly, and Danzo continued. But don't worry, we won't attack the Uchiha clan. As Konoha's guards, you Uchiha clan's contribution to Konoha is seen by everyone. I hope we don't fight each other with swords. After all, we are all Muya, a member of the Leaf. Then, Danzo stretched out a hand strangely, as if he wanted to shake hands with Uchiha Fugaku. Uchiha Fugaku looked at Danzo, just felt his tone, very insincere, frowned and said. Advertisement. What we Uchiha clan want is peace and the power we deserve. There is nothing else, all you know is rumors. After all, Uchiha Fugaku held Danzo's hand. It's all for Konoha. Yes, for Konoha. After the words fell, Danzo disappeared and left, Uchiha Fugaku's face was gloomy. He knew that the so-called peace Danzo talked about was not real peace. Maybe, it's just a tactic to delay the attack. No, it can't go on like this, we must find a way to see if there is any solution. Suddenly, Uchiha Fugaku's eyes lit up slightly. Yi Shenyu. Uchiha Fugaku suddenly thought of this boy who had once amazed him. Whatever that kid said, he is also a genius of Konoha. He must be highly valued by Serutobi and others. He was never allowed to go to school, and he was allowed to mess around. It can be seen that Madara. If you train Yi Shenyu and Sasuke together, even if the riot fails in the end, you can still use him as a hostage. Presumably to protect the safety of the core clan, it shouldn't be a big problem, right? Dot dot dot. In a few days, just after the ninja school ended, Yi Shenyu came to the river to fish as usual. Today, a few of my friends have things to do, so I can only fish by myself. Yan, no one can just sleep peacefully. When Yi Shenyu was lying comfortably, a figure appeared behind him, approaching Yi Shenyu silently. Hey, you can get shot while lying down. Advertisement. Uncle Uchiha Fugaku, if you have anything to say, just say it. Yi Shenyu stared at his fishing rod and said without looking back. Uchiha Fugaku smiled slightly and said, it's kind of interesting. Among the ninja schools today, you are the most inconspicuous one, but you are also the most special one. Yi Shenyu shook his head helplessly and counted the days. Well, it's almost time, okay, this is Uchiha. Yi Shenyu stood up put away the fishing rod, looked into Uchiha Fugaku's eyes, and said. Uncle, what can I do for you? Uchiha Fugaku smiled slightly and looked at Yi Shenyu. 
I heard that you are a war orphan, and now you live alone, and the teachers in the school are really mediocre, why don't you come to my Uchiha clan, and I will teach you personally. Our Uchiha clan has many kinds of ninjutsu, as long as I can teach you all of them, what do you think? No no no, Yi Shen Yu subconsciously shook her head. Just kidding, in two days it will be the day of extermination, I will join you Uchiha now, isn't it courting death? Although conventional ninjutsu and physical jutsu have no effect on him, illusion and space ninjutsu still cause some headaches. Unfortunately, not to mention Uchiha Itachi's genjutsu, there will be Obito's space ninjutsu at that time. Now run over to Uchiha, that's really crazy. I'm very happy alone now, so don't bother uncle. With a wave of Yi Shenyu's right hand, the random myriad realms fishing rod turned gold disappeared in a flash. Immediately, the body turned into countless balls of light that spread out in all directions. What kind of move is this? Uchiha Fugaku opened the Sharingan instantly, but he couldn't see which one was Yi Shenyu's real body. Advertisement. A moment later, 500 meters away from the lake, Yi Shenyu condensed into shape, and then turned into a flash of gold, which disappeared in a blink of an eye. This kid, what a weird ninjutsu. Looking at Yi Shenyu's back, Uchiha Fugaku's eyes gradually turned cold. Dot dot dot. Yi Shenyu walked out of the back hill, wrinkled his head and looked at another big shot not far away. Yi Shenyu. Uchiha Itachi looked at him quietly, and said slowly, I've been waiting for you for a long time. It's from Uchiha again. Yi Shenyu helped his forehead helplessly, and said, what's the matter? Brother Sasuke. Have you met other Uchiha people before? Uchiha Itachi wondered. Yi Shenyu said helplessly. Hey, your father is going to kill me, do you think I saw it? Yi Shenyu knew that this person was on the united front with Konoha, so he didn't hide anything, and he vaguely guessed Itachi's purpose. Uchiha Itachi's eyes changed slightly, and then he said. Father's matter, I will help you deal with it, but as a condition, I hope that if something happens to me in the future, you can protect Sasuke. Really, Yi Shenyu thought about it for a while, and it seemed that this was not bad, as for protecting Sasuke, since this one is not around, it depends on his own mood. Okay, I promise you. From now on, Sasuke, I will help to watch. After getting Yi Shenyu's reply, Uchiha Itachi breathed a sigh of relief. Then, she nodded gratefully, turned around, and the ups and downs disappeared. It's really annoying to be targeted for no reason. Fortunately, I still have a backup. Yi Shenyu took out a treasured adult book from her bosom, and walked towards the house of a bad old man with a smirk on her face. Chapter 022, The Night of Genocide Close Black Lens Bracket. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Half an hour later, Yi Shenyu knocked on Hokage's office door carelessly. Sarutobi, who was approving the documents, didn't notice who was coming, and subconsciously said. Come in. What's the matter? It's okay. I just miss you a little bit recently, old man. Hiss. Sarutobi was shocked when he heard this, and looked up at Yi Shenyu in shock. What about you boy? Sarutobi hurriedly got up from behind the table, came to the door as fast as he could, and shouted to the door. It's going to be done tomorrow again, no one is allowed to come over. Yes, Master Hokage. Hearing this, Sarutobi hurriedly closed the door, and then locked it. Uneasy, he personally arranged a Shizun enchantment, and he was relieved. Yi Shenyu looked at the old man third generation with contempt on his face. Hey, am I that scary? Stop rambling, what do you want from me, if you have nothing to do, go catch your fish. Yi Shenyu smiled and came to Sarutobi's desk unhurriedly. Old man, there are a few girls with good figures in the three hash bathing pool of Ida's house in the commercial street, have you seen them? Huh, is there? Sarutobi refrained from recalling. No, why didn't I see? Hey, old man, I knew you were peeping every day with this broken crystal ball. Advertisement. Damn, accidentally fell into your way, tell me, what are you doing to me? Yi Shenyu found a stool and sat down, then looked at Sarutobi with a smirk on his face. Recently, I've been hesitant about that mysterious person who sells books. It's new. The next moment, Sarutobi looked at Yi Shenyu's new adult book with a bright face. Just looking at the fashionable girl on the cover, the old guy felt the urge to have a nosebleed. This is a high-end magazine that old perverts have never seen before, and there are all kinds of beautiful girls in different dresses. Why does this one feel a bit strange today? Sarutobi didn't bother to pretend in front of Yi Shenyu, and couldn't wait to open it and read it. Hiss, a girl with cat ears and a tail, wearing a maid outfit. Wow, I've seen this before. Is this the uniform that the outside world calls the police profession? After reading only two pages, Sarutobi couldn't bear it any longer. He felt that his nosebleed was about to flow out. He skillfully took out a piece of paper from the drawer and stuffed it into his nostril. With Yi Shenyu. Well, yes, you still remember me as an old man, it's a pity that I don't love you for nothing, tell me, what's the matter? Hi, I feel that the smell of blood in the air is a bit heavy recently, and my place is a bit unsafe, so I went to sleep at your place recently. Sarutobi looked at Yi Shenyu with some surprise, shocked by his keen sense. Yi Shenyu feels right, there has been a fight recently, and Uchiha's boy genius, Shisui, is dead. In the near future, the Uchiha clan may disappear. And Yi Shenyu's parents have some connections with him, and this kid has great potential, so he will indeed be pulled by Uchiha as a backing, and it is safest to live where he is. Okay, you can stay with me. A few days later, in the residence of the Uchiha clan. Uchiha Itachi stands outside the village next to a masked man. The man was wearing a robe and a mask, so his face could not be seen. From the mask, a Sharingan can be vaguely seen. Advertisement. Uchiha Madara. Uchiha Itachi said to the masked man beside him, are you ready? The masked man chuckled and said, it should be said, are you ready? Uchiha Itachi was silent, his eyes dimmed, and then became firm again. The next moment, the two walked into the station with murderous expressions on their faces. 
That night, blood flowed like a river, and countless corpses fell in the residence of the Uchiha clan. Uchiha Itachi and the masked man were extremely ruthless, watching the former clansmen fall one by one, the eyes of the two remained unchanged from beginning to end. Until, a long-haired woman sat slumped on the ground, looking at the masked man with deep fear in her eyes. Uchiha Itachi help me, Uchiha Izumi said with a trembling voice. Before Uchiha Izumi finished speaking, a cold light flashed, and Obito ended Izumi's life. Looking at Izumi Uchiha lying in a pool of blood, Itachi looked at Obito unkindly. Hee hee, I just saw you make a move and help you. Obito smiled dismissively, wiped the bloodline off his fingertips with his fingers, and continued to look for the next Uchiha tribe. This night, in the Uchiha resident, it is destined to be not quiet. In the evening, Uchiha Sasuke returned to the station. But today I feel extraordinarily dead. The sky was extremely yellow, with a hint of blood. Uchiha Sasuke felt a little nervous, but when he walked into the station, he froze. I saw countless corpses lying on the ground. Even the uncle from the pancake shop fell to the ground. Uchiha Sasuke walked over and found that he was dead. Advertisement. This, is this. Uchiha Sasuke's legs went limp, his mind went blank, and he lay directly on the ground. Dad, Mom, Sasuke froze for a long time, then ran directly to his house. Sasuke wants to know what the current parents are like. When Sasuke walked into the room, he suddenly had a bad feeling. The next moment, Sasuke desperately found that Uchiha Fugaku and Uchiha Makoto had fallen to the ground. On one side, Uchiha Itachi with a katana sword. Dad, Mom, Uchiha Sasuke knelt on the ground in despair, tears streaming down his face, Big Brother, who did it? Who did it? Uchiha Itachi laughed, almost maniacally. The next moment, Uchiha Itachi walked in front of Uchiha Sasuke, his eyes turned into Sangoyu. Then Sasuke saw what happened here, it was Uchiha Itachi who killed all the people of the Uchiha clan with his own hands. Sasuke was desperate, he collapsed on the ground, and said at a loss, why? Dot why did the big brother do that? Later, he said, why am I the only one left? Hearing this, Uchiha Itachi let out a miserable laugh, walked up to Uchiha Sasuke, and said coldly, because you are weak, you are not even worthy of being killed. My stupid little brother, if you want to kill me, just hate me, hate me, and then just live like an idiot. Then, the three Tomo Sharingan in Uchiha Itachi's pupils spun rapidly and turned into Mangekyo Sharingan. Wait until you have the same eyes as mine, and then come to me. At that time, your existence will be meaningful. Uchiha Itachi sneered three times, then threw the long knife in his hand, which was stained with the blood of his relatives, in front of Uchiha Sasuke, and walked away. And Uchiha Sasuke just crawled on the ground, looking desperate. Percent. Oh two three five years later. Ask for flowers. Ask for collection. Close black lens bracket. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. The next day. The whole Konoha was shocked. As the Uchiha clan of the Konoha guard, they were slaughtered. And, only one person survived, and that was Uchiha Sasuke. Uchiha Sasuke lay quietly in the hospital, no matter who came to see him, he ignored him, only when Yi Shenyu came, his eyes moved. No one knows what the two said, but a few days later, Sasuke started to practice crazily after he was discharged from the hospital. Even after school, I would go to the back mountain to practice constantly with Yi Shenyu. Although his nose and face were bruised and swollen every time by Yi Shenyu, Sasuke seemed to have a kind of tenacity, and he would not give up the fight with Yi Shenyu until he lost his strength and couldn't move. In this regard, Yi Shenyu is also very helpless. Now that the Uchiha clan has been wiped out, contacting Uchiha Sasuke again will not have any bad effects on me. Although this guy is uncomfortable, even beating sandbags can improve his strength, so although it affects his, good, life, the impact is not great. On this day, Uchiha Sasuke gritted his teeth, his fists were like a storm, and he kept blasting towards Yi Shenyu. Yi Shenyu was slightly surprised, Sasuke's strength has been improving at a really good speed recently, it seems that he has changed something unintentionally. However, Sasuke's efforts were in vain after all. Yi Shenyu used observation hockey to dodge easily, and then pointed lightly, focusing heavily on Sasuke's chest. The next moment, Sasuke was sent flying out, and it took him a long time to grit his teeth and stand up from the ground. You are still too weak now, but you are already very good. Yi Shenyu shook his head helplessly. No, it's not enough. Uchiha Sasuke's dark eyes turned into blood reds one Tomo Sharingan, rushed towards Yi Shenyu again. However, Sasuke soon found out that it seems that there is not much difference between opening his eyes and not opening his eyes. He still couldn't see the trajectory of Yi Shenyu's movements at all. Thinking of Uchiha Itachi's Mangekyo Sharingan in Genocide Night, Sasuke felt a surge of anger. I must work hard, one day, I will kill you, Uchiha Itachi. Then the two fought together again, and a few seconds later Sasuke flew out again. The days went by fishing, quarreling with the wind, flirting with girls, eating wild game, and abusing Sasuke. Advertisement. Five years later, today is the day of graduation from ninja school. In the morning, Yi Shenyu walked on the road with Naruto. Boss, we are graduating today, we can become independent ninjas. Naruto looked very excited, Yi Shenyu nodded, yes, she is about to graduate and become genin. It has been six years since I lived with this kind of salted fish. To be honest, I have been salted for a long time, and I am really a little bored. Maybe life after graduation will be more exciting. Yi Shenyu thought to himself, according to the original plot, Naruto should have failed the examination, and then was bewitched by Mizuki to steal the sealed book. Then I learned multiple shadow clone on it, and turned Mizuki dry. However, Yi Shenyu stared at Naruto again. Naruto has been following him for so many years, so his strength is naturally lacking. Just the clone technique, it doesn't seem to be a problem for Naruto. 
But Naruto passed the exam, but he couldn't learn multiple shadow clone. Yi Shenyu shook his head and said to Naruto, Naruto, listen to the boss, when you take the exam later, you must not pass, you must fail, understand. Naruto was puzzled when he heard Yi Shenyu's words. If I can't pass the test, how can I become a ninja? Naruto naturally knew that Yi Shenyu would not harm him, and he admired Yi Shenyu extremely, but when he heard that Yi Shenyu would not let him pass the exam, Naruto instantly didn't know what to do. Yi Shenyu ran over Naruto's shoulder earnestly and said, Naruto, if you don't pass the test, you'll get a greater benefit in the end and still be a ninja, get it? Listen to me, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. This so-called benefit is naturally multiple shadow clone. Naruto nodded, he still believed Yi Shenyu's words very much. Since I can still become a ninja, it doesn't matter. Walking into the classroom, Aruka saw Yi Shenyu with a look of surprise. Yi Shenyu, I didn't expect you to come. Then he looked at the roster and said to Yi Shenyu. Advertisement. In the past five years, you have only taken less than ten classes. If you fail this exam, you will not be able to become a ninja, understand? Yi Shenyu shook her head helplessly. The so-called exam is just a clone technique test, it is too simple. Then, seeing that almost everyone was present, Aruka looked through the list. He said to everyone, students who have read their names will go to the next classroom to take an exam. The content of the exam is clone technique. Everyone looked excited. Choji said to Shikamaru beside him, if we pass this exam, we can graduate and become ninjas. Shikamaru shook his head helplessly, and said, understood, it's really long-winded. Then he lay down on the table, clone technique was not difficult for him at all, but he still had to take the exam, which was really troublesome. The first one is Uzumaki Naruto. Naruto will follow me to the next classroom. After Aruka finished reading his name, he took Naruto to the next classroom. In the classroom, Mizuki sat in the middle as the examiner, with Aruka sitting beside him. And Naruto made mudras with both hands, gathered the chakra in his body, shouted loudly, and said, clone technique. Bang of smoke. Both Mizuki and Aruka looked at Naruto curiously. In recent years, Naruto's performance is also very bad, and it can even be said that it exists as the tail of the crane. Mizuki and Aruka will also be very curious about how Naruto will perform. When the smoke dissipated, I saw Naruto's avatar next to him, twisted all over, lying on the ground with his butt pouted, looking up at the ceiling with saliva in his mouth, and then kept saying, Ababa, Ababa, Aba, click. Aruka directly crushed the pen in his hand, and looked at the clone beside Naruto with a black line on his face. You, Aruka couldn't find any good words to describe the current Naruto, so he could only say, fail. Naruto released the clone, and then smiled. Understood Mr. Aruka, then I'll go first. Then he walked out of the classroom with a smile and closed the door. This guy, what's going on? You're so happy that you can't pass the exam. Aruka was a little angry, while Mizuki looked at Naruto with disdain on his face. It's just a demon fox. Do you really think he will become an excellent ninja? Advertisement. Aruka on the side glanced at Mizuki with strange eyes, wanted to say something, but finally held back, and then said loudly, Next. Yi Shenyu. There was a click. Yi Shenyu opened the door and came in, yawned and glanced at Aruka and Mizuki in front of him. Am I a clone technique too? Yes, Yi Shenyu, if you can't pass, you can repeat the grade with Naruto. Yi Shenyu didn't say much, he made mudras with his hands and wrapped a layer of chakra around his body. As the most basic ninjutsu, this clone technique is not difficult at all for Yi Shenyu. Bang. Smoke lingers. Aruka also looked at it curiously. Although Yi Shenyu had several good performances before, but in five years, he took less than ten classes in total, which made Aruka very worried. The smoke dissipated, and two identical Yi Shenyu appeared in front of Aruka, sighing at the same time. What a boring exam, I'd better go fishing. This child, Aruka looked at Yi Shenyu, also very helpless. After walking out of the classroom, Yi Shenyu saw that Naruto was waiting for him, especially the ninja's forehead protector, with envy on his face. Boss, when will I be able to become a ninja? Naruto asked doubtfully. He specially released the water today and failed the assessment. Yi Shenyu looked at Naruto with a hint of amusement in his eyes. Mr. Mizuki will come to you in a while and ask you to go to Hokage's office to steal the sealed book. Promise him that I will come to you again at night. Why? Naruto asked in confusion. What is the book of seals? And why can I become a ninja? Mizuki sensei, do you understand that he wants to swallow the sealed book? Yi Shenyu smiled faintly. If you learn the above ninjutsu, then use that ninjutsu to defeat Mizuki sensei and return the sealed book, that will be a great achievement. At that time, you will not only learn super powerful ninjutsu, but also can be a ninja, you know. So that's how it is. I understand, as expected of the boss. 11%. Chapter 024. Naruto's strength open black lens bracket ask for flowers. Ask for collection. Close black lens bracket. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Evening. Uzumaki Naruto sat on the swing in front of the ninja school, waiting for Mizuki to appear. Not long after, Naruto felt his eyes dim, and a tall figure appeared in front of him. Uzumaki Naruto looked up and saw that this person was the daytime examiner Mizuki. Mizuki touched Uzumaki Naruto's head, smiled lightly and said. What's up, little Naruto, do you want to graduate? Then, pointing to a few people who had just graduated in the distance, he said, get the same forehead protector as on their heads. Uzumaki Naruto nodded hastily, and said, of course I missed Mr. Mizuki, is there any way? Mizuki squatted down pretending to be kind, and there was an imperceptible hint of viciousness in his eyes. Listen to me, second Hokage Senju Tobarama once left a sealed book, and the sealed book is full of very powerful ninjutsu. As long as you can learn the above ninjutsu, Lord Third Generation will admit that you are a unique ninja. You will be able to graduate by then. 
Hearing this, Naruto nodded firmly, and then ran directly towards the Hokage building. Mizuki was dumbfounded. What happened? I thought I had to coax it for a while, but I didn't expect it to be so simple. I always feel that something is wrong. Dot dot dot. Midnight. A group of ninjas gathered in front of the Hokage building, each with anxious faces. The scroll of forbidden technique left by Master Second Hokage was taken by Naruto, you must get him back. Sarutobi Hiruzen said to the ninjas with a pipe in his mouth. At this time, everyone became excited. Advertisement. I mean, that guy is a demon fox. Just lock him up sooner. A scroll of forbidden technique. What is he doing with a scroll of forbidden technique? A kid who can't graduate from ninja school steals a scroll of forbidden technique from second Hokage. Damn it. In the past, it could be explained as a small fight. This time, he must be driven out of the village. Everyone gritted their teeth, very angry at what Naruto did. But Aruka looked back around, but couldn't believe it. Master third Hokage, although Naruto is a little naughty, I believe that he was just confused for a while, and I will bring him back. Aruka said to third Hokage. Third Hokage nodded, didn't say anything, just waved his hand to signal everyone to do it. The next moment, a group of ninjas directly turned into afterimages, and began a carpet search around Konoha village. And this time, Uzumaki Naruto leaned under a big tree and opened the sealed book. At the same time, Yi Shenyu also walked in front of him. Boss, there are a lot of ninjutsu here, let's take a look. Uzumaki Naruto looked at the densely packed ninjutsu recorded on it, and suddenly became a little excited. Yi Shenyu nodded, and the two began to study. A few hours later, Naruto finally learned multiple shadow clone techniques, and Yi Shenyu, who has a top learning talent, has already learned almost the above ninjutsu. Boss, I know this ninjutsu, so what should I do next? Go to Mizuki. After seeing it, you can use multiple shadow clone techniques to beat him up. After speaking, Yi Shenyu looked at the sky, and immediately felt sleepy. Okay, I'm going home to sleep, and then it's up to you. Yes, boss, advertisement. Watching Yi Shenyu go away, Naruto began to look for Mizuki everywhere, and it didn't take long for the two to meet. Mizuki looked greedily at the forbidden technique scroll behind Naruto, and said coldly. Naruto, you really got the sealed book. Mizuki jumped down from the tree, walked up to Uzumaki Naruto, stretched out his hand and said. Give me this sealed book. Just as Naruto was about to stretch out his hand, Mizuki directly took out Kanai and stabbed towards Naruto's throat. Boom. Naruto reacted extremely quickly, turned his head to avoid the blow, and then punched Mizuki hard. After following Yi Shenyu for so long, and eating a lot of good food, Naruto's physical fitness is still not the slightest problem against Mizuki. Mizuki snorted, and took a few steps back uncontrollably before he managed to stabilize his figure. Mizuki looked at Uzumaki Naruto in surprise, how could you? Uzumaki Naruto snorted coldly, carried the ceiling scroll directly behind his back, and said angrily. Mr. Mizuki, what happened just now doesn't look like a teacher teaching a student. Mizuki saw that his plan had been revealed, and also revealed his true colors. Since it's like this, don't blame my subordinates for being merciless. Anyone who stops me will die. Afterwards, Mizuki took out the Fuma Shuriken from behind and stared at Uzumaki Naruto. At this time, Aruka, who came to look for Uzumaki Naruto, finally rushed over. Mizuki, Uzumaki Naruto, what's wrong with you? Aruka saw that Mizuki wanted to do something to Uzumaki Naruto, and felt that his brain was not enough. Teacher Aruka, he coaxed me out to steal the sealed book, just to steal the sealed book for himself. Advertisement. Seeing that his plan had been revealed, Mizuki looked at the two of them with a gloomy face, and the Fumo Shuriken in his hand twirled rapidly, since the matter has been exposed, neither of you two will live. Aruka saw this scene and said angrily, Mizuki, don't do stupid things. Uzumaki Naruto's eyes became sharp, and he saw that he made mudras with his hands, gathered the chakra in his body, shouted, and said, multiple shadow clone technique. Boom, countless smoke lingers. Afterwards, Aruka and Mizuki froze in place, and they were shocked to find that there were countless shadow clones of Naruto around them. There are hundreds of them. Uzumaki Naruto is everywhere, both on the ground and in the trees. How is it possible? Mizuki was shocked, facing this scene, he was so frightened that he sat on the ground directly, this multi-layered shadow clone is a forbidden technique. It is impossible to learn it so quickly. Naruto snorted coldly, die. Afterwards, countless clones rushed directly in front of Mizuki, and then the forest was filled with Mizuki's miserable cries. Naruto, this boy, does he actually have such a powerful force? A trace of surprise flickered in Aruka's eyes. The smoke cleared. Naruto looked at the bruised and swollen Mizuki who was beaten on the ground, scratching his head in embarrassment. Did I go too far? Aruka looked at the small wooden stick sticking somewhere behind Mizuki, and muttered with black lines on his face. I don't know who this kid learned this enema from. Chapter 025. Classification disturbance open black lens bracket ask for flowers. Ask for collection. Close black lens bracket. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. The next day. Hokage office. Sarutobi Hiruzen listened to Aruka's narration, and Naruto next to him was holding the sealed book with a proud face. That's the way it is. Now Mizuki has been executed and put in prison. Aruka glanced at Naruto, and respectfully said to Sarutobi Hiruzen. In the process of fighting against Mizuki, Naruto's performance was also very impressive. I think he is already qualified to be a ninja. Sarutobi Hiruzen took a puff of his pipe, exhaled slowly, and said, That's right, little Naruto, you found a scourge for our Konoha. You are naturally qualified to be a ninja. After exiting the Hokage building, Uzumaki Naruto looked at Yi Shenyu and said proudly, Boss, I have become a ninja, look. After all, Naruto raised the forehead protector in his hand. Hee <laughs> hee, good job, dot dot dot, 
The next day, Aruka looked at the little guys at the door of the classroom with a look of relief, and said with relief. First of all, I want to congratulate you all, because from today on, you will bear it alone. Because you are still Jenin, so in the future you will be divided into groups of three, and Jonin will guide you to perform tasks during Jenin. Then next, I'll start announcing the grouping. Okay, next, I will announce the grouping situation, you all listen carefully to me. With one word from Aruka, the noisy classroom instantly became quiet. A lot of people have small things in their hearts. For example, although Ino knows that their Ino Shika Cho will definitely be together, they still hope that Yi Shenyu can also join. Not to mention the little Hanada, who has been watching Yi Shenyu secretly, feeling a little nervous. If only I could be in the same team as Yi Shenyu. Advertisement. Okay, now I announce the first shift. Second class. Every time Aruka finished a class, there was a girl's sigh. At the beginning, Sasuke still sighed, and gradually some girls began to look at Yi Shenyu reluctantly. Now Yi Shenyu is more than 10 years old, and his appearance is much more handsome than Sasuke, so although he doesn't show up many times, he still attracts girls. Yi Shenyu didn't care where she was going, and dozed off lazily. Just then, Aruka suddenly said, 7th class, Uchiha Sasuke. Um, with the appearance of Sasuke's name, many girls looked at Aruka with bright eyes, expecting to have their own. However, Haruno Sakura, wow, that's great. Little Sakura looked excited, she had liked Sasuke a long time ago, she never expected to be assigned with Sasuke this time. Uzumaki Naruto, er, Naruto, little Sakura glanced at the dejected Naruto, frowning slightly. Also, Yi Shenyu, what, everyone was shocked and didn't understand why they were divided into groups. Aruka didn't bother to explain, anyway, it was third Hokage who ordered it. Ino lay down on the table with a gloomy face, and Tien looked at Yi Shenyu who was close at hand in frustration, feeling his heart was congested and his face turned pale. Yi Shenyu woke up as early as the moment she called out to herself, looked at Hanada and quickly comforted. Okay, Hanada, don't be sad, even if we're not together, as long as I don't perform missions, I will often see you. After getting Yi Shenyu's reply, Hanada was pleasantly surprised, and suddenly became happy again. Advertisement. In fact, Yi Shenyu is quite satisfied with being in the seventh class. This is a class that gathers great luck. If you want to be free early, you have to be strong enough to crush everything. And obviously the speed of becoming stronger in the seventh class will be much faster than other classes. However, although Yi Shenyu is satisfied, Kakashi in the third Hokage office is almost closed to himself. Master third generation, isn't this task a bit too difficult? Kakashi looked listless, the orphan of the Uchiha family, and two crane tails who have been absent from school all the year round, just thinking about it gives me a headache. Third Hokage smiled slightly, took a deep drag on the cigarette, then spit it out, and said pointedly. No way, these little guys are the hope of Konoha in the future, I can only rest assured by handing them over to you. Looking at the solemn third generation, Kakashi hastily looked serious. Yes, Lord Hokage, dot dot dot, after class ends, the rest of the class were basically taken away by their leading teacher. At this time, only four people, Yi Shenyu, were left in the classroom. What's the matter, why is this teacher late for the first meeting? Naruto was a little dissatisfied. Naruto seemed unable to sit still. After all, according to common sense, this Hitaki Kakashi was already an hour late. But this doesn't matter to Yi Shenyu, after all, he is never bored, he can sleep on the table. Haruno Sakura looked at Uchiha Sasuke with a nympho. Uchiha Sasuke sat on the table, looking a little helpless. An idiot, a nympho, and a difficult guy. Uchiha Sasuke sighed, it's going to be a bit difficult after this. Uzumaki Naruto looked around boredly, suddenly, his eyes lit up, he opened the door a gap, and then stuffed the blackboard on it. If someone pushed open the door, the blackboard eraser would definitely hit the top of his head. That's the price he paid for being late. Uzumaki Naruto wiped the chalk dust from his hands with a smug look on his face. Uchiha Sasuke was speechless. Advertisement. He sighed, and said, the teachers who lead the team are all Jonin, how could they fall into such a trick? Uzumaki Naruto was about to speak when he heard a creak. The door was opened, and Hitaki Kakashi's head poked out from it. Slap. The blackboard eraser hit Kakashi directly on the head, and chalk was all over his body. Facing this scene, Uchiha Sasuke's eyes tightened, how could it be? Ha ha ha, got it. Uzumaki Naruto pointed at Hitaki Kakashi triumphantly. Hitaki Kakashi patted the chalk dust on his head, then smiled. Little Sakura looked at him, also a little speechless, as this our team leader teacher. Why is it a bit unreliable? Facing little Sakura's doubts, Kakashi glanced at them and said, how should I put it, my first impression of you is not very good. Then he glanced at Yi Shenyu who was still sleeping and said lightly. Wake him up and follow me to the rooftop. A few minutes later, five people sat together on the rooftop. Yi Shenyu was still a little sleepy, yawning and looking at Hitaki Kakashi. Teacher, what's the matter? Kakashi nodded, then said, let's introduce ourselves first. Then, he said slowly, my name is Hitaki Kakashi, and I'm your leader Jonin, things I like and things I hate, keep it secret. Dreams, it seems to be gone. Everyone looked at Kakashi speechlessly, cooperating with you, Balabala, for a long time, and talking a lot, in fact, I just said my name. Kakashi ignored the expressions of several people, looked at Yi Shenyu and the others curiously and said, okay, now it's time to introduce yourselves, EMMM, you go first. After all, Kakashi pointed at Uzumaki Naruto with his finger, 